mask is 75 percent effective but that was actually a study done on gerbils so what i'm trying to say is we need to actually look at the study find out find out how they did the study and what i'm saying is there's two different ways of transmitting right so when you cough or when you sneeze i believe we all agree on that and also there's no evidence of uh of um asymptomatic spread so what we're looking at is going to be a cough or a sneeze so when you when you sneeze that a mask actually can help with but here's the problem that whenever you sneeze on a, on a surface as long as you're not sneezing in somebody's face when you're sneezing on a surface that's not actually the driver of the infections so we that, that study's already been done right so we understand that if i if i sneeze on a surface the latest study just came out i believe it was last month uh if i sneeze on a surface that ends up dying so that's not how we're dry that's not driving the, the what, what, what is driving is, it? Oh, those are aerosols so what is driving is, wait hold on let oh squishy left what the fuck so that is my that's what i'm saying that cause anyway aerosols, like i said so Brenda, your you mic's fading back. when you said that masks didn't stop the spread of virus because yes, you just agreed, you just agreed that the mask is going to stop some particular no. it's going through that mask, right but i just said i just said and this is why it's important why i keep saying this if i sneeze and a mask stops that but if sneezing does not stop that's not actually that's not the driver of infection like so let's say uh, we have a hundred He's equivocating. He's equivocating. What does driver of infection mean? Like the, the process by which the infection is spread is not through sneezing? Yeah. So, uh, the, the, like, uh, I think it was like less than uh, 3% or something like that of, uh, of infection or whatever. It could be through that. But here's what, the what is the driver? Here's what he's going to say. Here's what, here's what he's going to say. Well, maybe somebody got it from a sneeze. But here's the problem with that. You've got to look at the net. What is the net outcome? So if more people are going out. No, no, no. Your claim is that masks don't work. I'm saying that they increase the spread. So I'm actually saying something even stronger than what. Okay, uh, what I'd saying. love to hear that. Go ahead. Yeah, and this one I'm trying to get to. So we've actually done. There's uh, two studies that I cited earlier when I post all those studies where you actually found that you take a control group of nurses with mask, a control, uh, you take uh, the two with mask and one without mask, right? So then what they found was whenever you're wearing a mask, it gives you that false sense of security. And when you go out there, you actually, you're more likely to catch it while you're wearing a mask because the mask doesn't protect you from getting it. Wow. More from, more from spreading it. So, what, uh, causes, what causes the spread of the virus? Mostly the coughs. It's the aerosols. So that's the transmission. And it only takes it's one. aerosol. One. So the right, aerosols so aren't do masks, masks. Do masks trap, trap the aerosol? No. no. That's what that's the that's the yeah, they actually do. They actually do. The fibers of the mask trap the aerosol. Yeah, they do. So you're look you're looking at a bad study. So the problem, you know, why they want you to wear two or three masks? It's not to make no, more it's layers. You're contesting that. Do you contest that N95 masks can catch viruses? N95s do good. It has to be a form fitted mask. So this is why uh, nurses and doctors, you can agree that N95 can stop a virus from going through it. Yeah. So it has to be now a double. You, the only you, mask that do work. Aerosol, now, when you say aerosol. Are you saying that it's just smaller than that? No, no, no. So um, there are masks that do work, and here are the masks. And here's the problem. That's why I said mask mandates. Okay, so the no mask mask in general, the ones that most people want. Your claim. So the the actual masks that do work are ones that are form fitted to your face. You can't have any facial hair. You got to wear them properly. So you can't. Well, that's them. that's an army thing. That's that's been disproven. But uh, so no, you're no, saying no, no, that no, no. masks uh, do that, work. That hasn't been disproven, and I understand what you're saying. You're talking about the gas mask, where if you, so, if you have so, too much face so you're, hair, just just go ahead and walk, walk with me here. You're saying masks yeah. do work, right? Only the masks that are that I'm that I'm mentioning. That All right, masks do work. You can shut the fuck up. Only masks that are, are. How many people are wearing those masks? And is there any asymptomatic spread? So should healthy people be wearing masks? Just to be clear, you agree that masks do work. Mask mandates do not work. You just said that masks do work, though. Very specific mask, yes. You could wear a fucking uh, yeah. body, body suit. You could wear a body yeah, suit like, like, in yeah, a fucking okay. lab, dumbass. Think about that. Yeah. Think about what you're saying. You're so saying that masks that saying... weren't wearing work. Okay, congratulations. Yes, people could also wear a fucking... Wait, wait, you should just shut your mouth. Well, You've well, already walked a mask of saying, a fucking so, suit. So I think I can do this look. over. You're talking about no, masks so that people aren't wearing. What people are having to make a case for... Oh, my God. This is what, well, no, so you're talking about, what I'm saying. What, what their point? If, let me let me just tell you what the problem is. 
it sounds like you're saying that people shouldn't wear masks. So here's what I'm saying. Let me make a very okay. specific. People who are asymptomatic should not wear masks, right? So people who are asymptomatic, there's no science behind that. Number two, I'm also <laughs> saying that people who are wearing like, um, if they're wearing a, uh, like a, like a neck gaiter or a, a cloth mask or anything that is not effective, that doesn't work, right? I mean, we can all agree on those. Doesn't work. Uh, the, no, the, the, doesn't the work is a bit mask. of a. I think you're going to have pushback on doesn't work. Well, what's so, your? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I can show you, you the studies on gators as well. You can't so just say fucking gators and say masks don't work. So I'm literally giving you my exact claim. Okay. You're so again, because you had you had one nice guy who who wants me to to put it out there. So let me finish real quick. So you guys might be arguing about different things. Do not work. Net gators do not work, right? So net gators actually increase the chance of you actually catching a virus. A mask like Squishy's the uh, claim was that mask. fucking net gators work. Squishy's claim was that masks work, which you pushed back on, you fucking so idiot. If you're, if you're talking about specific type of mask, which is like, uh, you could say uh, wearing a full body, a body suit or whatever could work. Then congratulations, you're talking about you're something that's that not the claim. That's not the claim. Isn't that what all all PP well, comes with so, a caveat. So, so again, oh, again, on. my claim is mm. that mask mandates do not work. Mm. If you're What's talking about, I, I don't, I'm not American, so I don't know what a mask mandate is. Okay, mask mandates. It's actually, it's actually not. Army Wait, mask mandates have been all around the world. So if you don't know what they are, hey, hey Army, I don't know what you, you mean by it then? Because I, I've never heard the term. The CDC guidelines are not people should wear masks. The the guidelines are people should wear masks. And socially distance themselves. Yeah, There's a Brenda, Just Brenda, listen. In, in combination, in combination, in combination, masks and social distancing. What I'm asking you specifically was there any science what? behind that, or was it like one of the things that Fauci would say, what? which we what? knew were not based in science? Look, so let's go through ask this. You a specific we question can fix this real quick. What do you mean when you say mask mandate? When you just give out, put out a mask mandate, which is what most of these countries did. No country okay, said what, it had what is a mask mandate. A mask. When the government ma mandates that you wear a mask, I don't, I don't understand how this right. is. Right, like, but okay, I, I kind of get what you're saying. So, so, in terms of PPE, I think the problem is, is that you're saying masks don't work, right? Simplicity. I'm saying now. people weren't using their proper PPE. Yes, right, you're, but, then, but no I, one would disagree with that. No yeah. one disagrees um, with that. Let me finish. Well, no, he so actually did disagree with that. I said mask, mask mandates, mandates didn't work. So, so uh, you, said, you said that a mask mandate is when you're told to wear masks. Now, when people are told to wear masks, are people going to wear N95 masks? That's kind of, you're, you're literally just agreeing with what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know why. Yes or no? You, you, that's exactly what I fucking just got done saying. So I don't understand why the fuck you're repeating it as if you're like saying something. Are, like, are they going to wear N95 masks? Just to clear it up real quick. With the mask mandate, have you seen most people wearing M95 masks? I mean, in, me. well, I wear an M95 mask every day, so yes, I do see right. that. So, in what, a, what are most Americans? That's what I just asked. People, I asked about you. I asked about your answer. I asked mandate, about what are most Americans wearing? So in a mask mandate, what are most are people the world wearing? In a mask mandate, are people going to wear N95 masks? Are most people? Because I'm talking about driver room no, effect. I'm, I'm talking about driver room effect. I'm talking about the the efficacy well, of the mask mandate. I'm not talking question. about what you do. I don't you know why you don't just answer the question. You know, keep cocks in your mouth all day. I don't. That doesn't. So you know, you, in a mask US mandate, are, does not matter to me. In a mask you wouldn't mandate, be able to do that with a mask going on to wear N95 masks. I I I don't know. You tell me. Since you since you want to talk about yourself so much. Tell me more well, about what you're just being oh, what you when it, Whenever you get done pooping, do you smell your shit? And do you like put your nose in the toilet? This is how you know you're a cop. What's wrong with you? Yeah. That's against because, sort of because your anecdote does not uh, fucking matter. I'm talking about actual it's not data. An anecdote. I'm about what the actual, it's not an anecdote. It's not an anecdote. You literally just said, I wear M95 masks. So yeah, it's not yes. what he said. It was yes, a question. He literally just said that. It was a two question. It was a question. It's a stupid fucking question, and I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to say, "Well, I wear it, so therefore, shut up." Because uh, it's because it's no, a dumb that's person. not what he said. He's a dumb person. That's exactly what he was well, talking about. Saying, so exactly. Don't the question, so what no. the, what you need to do is you need to be able to tell me out of all of the Americans, out of everybody in the world, how many people wore that type of mask. 
That's what you need to get to. And here's what I'm going to go back to. What does the actual data say whenever mask mandates came out? What happened to the infection rates? What happened? You know, and that's what's going to happen because we know people did not wear the mask. Hey, you're talking I'm about working, so I didn't hear a word you're saying. I'm just waiting for you to answer the question. That's okay. How do you think you would disentangle? How, how do you think you would disentangle the properties of social distancing with the wearing of masks if they were both introduced at there the same was never, time? There was never any science behind social distancing, so um, mm -hmm. you don't really have to What's untangle that? it. Uh, there's what? been a bunch. No, no, I mean, how do you, how do you untangle it? Let me. So there was never any science behind it, so I don't have to untangle it from my. You know, you guys would have to show me where there's been at least a, a study or two, because we know that oh, if I sneeze, it can go out to nine yeah. feet, so six feet. Think, can I just ask feet. something really quickly? Because you keep on referring to studies. Do, yeah. do you think studies are the only way of proving something? Uh, no, of course not. But uh, okay, so you could do. So you could, there can be research into something. It isn't a, a study. There isn't like sure, sure, you know sure. what I mean. There, just so, provide so, some of that. Nobody's so provided think, any of that. But would you? What if something was proven that that distancing or isolation, right? Would, would well, isolation, the spread, right? But that's what distancing is. No, but, no, no, no. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me explain. You, let me explain. When you let me say explain see, you're, let me you're talking about a very, so you're talking about a very American centric term of it, right? So I, I see, see, you're talking to people in different countries. So when you say gotcha. social distancing, it means something completely different here to what you mean. We, we, we were told. Uh, not to leave the house as much. There were certain businesses that were closed. We were completely locked down here. Now the lockdown meant that we didn't intermingle as much and we saw a great deal of the numbers of the infections and, and contractions, sorry, and it developing drop, right? So what was, the, so how would we investigate what the reason for that was? Okay, right? Cause we, that's a good question. So let me, let me try and explain real quick. There's two things. Number one, what we mean by social distancing, because we actually did that in California as well, where everybody mostly stayed home. But then we also we had to go out to get food. Right. So I imagine the same thing happened with you guys. When everybody that was going out to get food, that's when they were catching the, the virus. And that's when you had, uh, mm -hmm. what was it, 87 percent of people that were new cases. They had been staying home the entire time because you couldn't go to the salon, you couldn't go to the bar, you couldn't go to the club. In California, the uh, the people that were actually abiding by the the lockdown, it was pretty strict, you know. Um, and, and we had a pretty good amount of people that were actually abiding by it. So that's what I'm saying. And the cases still went up. So that's number one. Number two, uh, whenever I sneeze. My uh, or whenever I cough, I should say, my aerosols will float on the microthermal currents for up to 30 minutes. So even if I'm even if you're the only person in the store and you came in after me, you've got to wait at least 30 minutes before that aerosol goes to the ground. See what I'm saying? So even if even if we're saying, you know what, we're trying to keep socially distanced, uh, you know what, uh, if I coughed in front of you and then you stayed 100 feet back, but you walked through where I was just at. You can catch the virus. That's what I meant by. Uh, yeah, but what if I don't but, go into the store? Yeah, if you don't go in the store, then you actually have. Let's say you stay home and you get a uh, DoorDasher who or mm -hmm. Uber Eats, whatever you have in your area. If you had somebody to deliver it and they drop the uh, the food off at your front door, you wait thirty minutes before you go and get it. And then um, if you did that right there, the likelihood of you catching it very low. You know, so what I'm saying, there are things that you could do. I'm, I mean, but most people aren't doing that. Most people are going to the store, and most yeah, I mean, people can wear condoms wrong as well, right? Well, yeah, and then condoms you know, could break condoms, condoms even people. if you wear it right. Yeah. It still could, uh, you still could end up getting pregnant. Put, put so even if you're saying that people break. Can wear it wrong, but but generally, when we use PPE, right? When we, when we look at these things, it isn't about completely eradicating the risk. It would be stupid for me to think that when I wear a condom that I couldn't get HIV or herpes. I could. But what I'm doing is I'm lowering the amount. Now, now I would argue the toss about the efficacy, right? Maybe, you know, the, maybe the social distancing wasn't as, as, as good as they said, but if it reduces it, if we, I suppose it would be, what would be the effect if we didn't do those things? If we just yeah, carried on as normal, what would have been the effect? Uh, so, well, we would have reached, um, so I didn't want to carry on as normal. I, I wanted exactly what MIT and Harvard Review put out in the earliest days. We always knew the the, the actual, um, the people that were going to be at risk, right? So people who are obese, people who are uh, cancer uh, patients, people like the, the elderly. We always knew these people were always going to, I mean, like being uh, the people that are dying from coronaviruses hasn't really changed, right? It's the same people that die from the flu and all these other coronaviruses. So the people who are healthy hey, should have stayed out in public, right? So if you did not have symptoms, you should have just step, stayed with your life as is. If you, if you felt like you were starting to have symptoms, you should have stayed home, 
you should have taken the hydroxychloroquine, uh, you know, azithromycin when we knew that. But azithromycin actually wasn't uh, uh, a good thing for uh, it was it was only for people who are already in the hospital might die. Uh, it, it kept you alive. Like it helped you if you were already getting better. It helped you get better two days earlier. So it actually didn't keep you from dying. So it's not a good thing. Uh, but so it, as we as the science progressed, as far as what we knew that could help you, you should have taken that in the first day that you get symptoms because you have the first five days before uh, the the virus really breaks out in your body. So by day eight, it's already too late. So if you take whatever you're going to take within the first five days, that greatly uh, you know increases your chances of living through it. Um, so we should have been doing things like that, where it's like, hey, if you feel like you are sick, stay home, stay home, and you should be staying home for even after you got done with symptoms, you should stay home an extra two weeks just to make sure. And we should have had a government program or something, right? Uh, maybe Uber Eats or whatever. We should have just said, hey, look, you know, use a delivery service for those two weeks, and um, maybe the government, you know, maybe socialists would like this. Maybe the government would uh, would take care of. Um, the uh, the delivery fee or something like that. R really quick, um, the the problem isn't necessarily people like spreading after they become symptomatic. The problem is that you can be symptomatic for like a week or so before you actually experience symptoms. No, and that was disproven. Like, that's what I. That's you, why I bought that up earlier. Yeah, you you can spread stuff for quite a while, like. Before, yeah, I don't, I don't did know. You why you that that's, that's COVID COVID did you just claim that asymptomatic COVID? Did you just claim that asymptomatic COVID was disproven? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. And so let's dive into okay, it. So and when my coworker had COVID up here with me for a week, and he was yeah. asymptomatic, are it was he just lying? So he didn't cough, he didn't sneeze, he didn't do anything that would spread it. Correct? That's what you're saying. I mean, am, I, am I wrong on what you're saying? Well, it, it, coughing and sneezing isn't the only method of, of spreading it, though. That's what I'm, this is, this is what comes down to asymptomatic, right? So there's been a few studies on this. There's one, uh, I think it was at a University of Miami, I believe. Uh, of but they put people. Breathing. Yeah, that's what I'm, th this is what I'm talking about, the breathing one. So uh, there's been multiple studies that have looked to see if just breathing, uh, even if a person is sick, if just breathing can spread the virus. So they had them run for like 30 minutes on a treadmill, and then they had very sensitive, uh, very sensitive equipment right up at their mouth to see if they're releasing any kind of particles that would be, uh, uh, be able to infect others or whatever, and, and there wasn't any. And there's been a few studies. So let me get like this right. Are you saying all sicknesses? Are asymptomatic? Or nope, I'm just talking are you saying there's like, just, just to be clear, you're saying going. there's no incubation period for a virus? What I'm saying is it doesn't matter what the incubation period is, blah blah blah. What I'm saying is what spreads the virus. So there's only gonna be three real real ways, right? I mean, um I mean I guess you could say four. There's gonna well, be you're just getting away from what Morgan asked. Can you, let's agree Morgan on asked, things real quick. Morgan yeah. Morgan said the viruses could be spread while being asymptomatic. In so this right. uh, that's what he's saying. He's saying that unless unless people are coughing, well, like I get crazy, what he's trying to say. I just want to hear him say it. Are you saying I've that said COVID it can not be spread while being asymptomatic? Yep, that's what I'm saying. Okay, just Thank post the article. Let's let's go ahead and, and see. Yeah, let me see if I can find those. It's like not a, where, where are we where are we seeing all these things are being posted? I'm looking at general chats. If you've got two people like an inch away from each other and like one's just literally breathing down the other person's throat, yeah, of course they can infect the other person. Oh, you can get it, it from touch touching, touching your saliva, touching, sharing a cup. You can get it from sharing yep. utensils that haven't been cleaned I've, properly. Yeah. You can get it from I've deep mouth kissing. You, huh? I've talked about that earlier about saliva. Huh? Like how long does that infect for is the question, right? So let's say, um, let's say I sneeze on a surface. Just some no, we're not like kissing them. Oh, so the the the, 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 yeah, the Caribbean cruise ship, the Caribbean cruise right, ship that was parked in New York, the Caribbean cruise ship that was parked in New York. It started the pandemic. They found uh, they found that uh, there were still infectious services like two weeks later. Um, but that was uh, so that right there. I do remember whenever those uh, that that all came out or whatever. I remember when all that came out that, that cruise ship. I think that was like pretty early in the in the in the outbreak, or whatever, right? So what I'm talking about is the latest studies. The latest studies, uh, they they have all the data, I guess, and you know I'm just going off of the studies. Just I, I know you're claiming the reference. 
what, what I'm saying is uh, the people that are saying that there was uh, uh, COVID on surfaces two weeks later, that was in the very earliest phases. And it's very possible that they were looking for things that blue light. I don't know if you've uh, seen video of people that, you know, some of these people that walk around and they're trying to sanitize surfaces. Uh, you know, I, I just don't always consider them all very professional. So you're just so saying I, like, I don't believe you. That's not interesting. Post that well, account. no, I'm just I'm just saying I, I, I don't. I mean, it, it's very possible that in the very beginning of an outbreak that they might have been wrong. I mean, I do remember there being. I I do remember there being something about like it's not as infectious on surface, or it doesn't last as long on surfaces as we thought it did. But it definitely still is possible to like infect people, like by touching surfaces and stuff. Like that's just ridiculous. Like obviously, you can infect people during the incubation period. Yeah, I said that if I if somebody. Uh, sneezes on a surface, it can infect, but it's a very short period, which is why the CDC said it's not a driver of infection, blah, blah, blah. So we're, we're agreeing. I'm just saying it's a very limited period when I sneeze on a surface that that is still a live virus that can infect you. And then even after you touch what, it, what, you what, what is the line? What is it? You said masks so, didn't work, then you said they did work. Then you said that virus that. couldn't live on surfaces. Now you're saying the virus does live on surfaces. No, I, like, why I, are you I, I literally, I've said this multiple times. So if you didn't understand or if you think I misspoke, let me clarify again. No, I think you're just wrong and walking it back because okay. you don't want to look bro, 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 bro. Okay. All right, man. Have a good day, bro. I mean, I, I don't under, I mean, I can't talk to dumb people. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really can't. Like, well, it's, well, uh, it's, yeah, like, you have no, brought no science be, to this call. It might not be that. It's, 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 it's really it's stupid. It's, it's pointless. You know what I mean? You Why did you start into this? Very specific this? things just... that are backed up by studies. Either you can listen and then say something, but just say, well, you know, I didn't like the way that you said that mask. Uh, well, well, like, like, no, no, no. He's trying to run away. He's trying to run away. It's fine. No, I just think I don't like to do that sort of thing. It's very, it's very boring. So if we're going to post anything, can we post it in general chat? Because that's the only one I can see. Oh. Um, I can't see anyone posting anything anywhere else. Where Where is all the studies and stuff we're looking at? Is it general I chat? I posted those a couple of days ago. You'd have to scroll up, unfortunately. Or I no, it's, it, it's not possible. I scroll, to, to so, scroll I, up, I don't know. so I posted here from... Oh, hi, hi, by the way. Um, so I posted here from uh, May 2021. This is from University of Chicago Medicine. Titled, Asymptomatic Coronavirus Infections Contribute to Over 50% of Spread, According to U Chicago Study. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this? What year was, what, uh, what, what month was that, do you know? May, May 2021. Okay, I haven't seen that one, but I could check it out. I know, uh, when was the latest one that I saw on asymptomatic? It was probably uh, February, you know, so I can go check and, and find out when that one was as well. Yeah, it says here, well, that's um, more the research team found that only 14 to 20 percent of COVID individuals showed symptoms of the disease and that more than 50 percent of community transmission was asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic. I mean, <clears throat> I just think like if you're talking about like a mechanistic standpoint of it, we know generally how viruses work. And yeah, when we're talking about the incubation period, which is the time from which you become infected for, with it to the time that you begin exhibiting symptoms that it's possible that the virus can be maturing and that you can be spreading it. And I just, I don't, so, I, I think that's reasonable. I just posted a, a study. Uh, I think this one was out of Japan or out of China. I can't remember. Uh, I read this one a while ago, but it was, it was nice where it, it goes over tens of millions of people. No, no evidence of asymptomatic spread. Uh, I'm getting a few of them right now. My computer's going slow. I have to break up my other laptop. Mm -hmm. So this is from what, what scientific body is the conservative treehouse? That's not a scientific body. They would be referencing something. Okay. So, so, I mean, I hope that you're not, you know, I know some people like to go after where something is posted. That's, that's kind of, you know, and that's not productive. It's a, it's a logical fallacy. So yeah, well, like, if you just address the, the address it, what are you talking about? If the source is completely corrupt or biased, oh, and that's well, obviously just, a part it's of fine. We don't have everything to, is a bias. We, we look at actual studies. If you post okay, so you know, the, the idea is, we don't have to go there. We don't the have to, idea is, we don't have to go there. The idea Sorry. is, hang, hang on. The idea is that if you're going to post a new source, you're supposed to post the source for the actual study, not the, not just say, oh, well, here's a news article that agrees with me. Right? right. That's the point. 
if you're going to post a yeah, news story, news article, it's going to have to have the source of the study in the news article. Otherwise, it's pointless. Yeah. Okay, so, so right now, like I said, uh, I can I can go back to where all I keep all my studies out or whatever, and I can just spam those or whatever. That's not a problem. Uh, okay, so can... What I did right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that the, one, in the last one that you posted earlier, because I, I was trolling, to, I, I just uh, want to check. I was trolling Dave. I, I can't read that one because it's blocked in my country. But can you post the, the actual study that it, that it linked in that one? Here, one, one okay. second. I'd have to go I back up to it. I was one trolling one Dave earlier because I, I like messing huh? with them. Um, but so that one right there, it, it would be an irrelevant I, one for me because I was hoping uh, to get him to start complaining about the source because I just wow. have a trove of, of studies. So, so I'd rather one, one of the better things is if you just post the actual the post. Yeah, I can post the studies. I can, Why would you be so using tactics about, if you're uh, mass, so mass right. to see. What's that? Well, let me, let me Why just... would you be using tactics if you're correct? Yeah, because it's fun. Because you just I admitted think to fun. using a tactic. If you're correct, why would you use a tactic? I don't understand. We're, we're getting because into the, the matter. We're, 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 we keep on stalling the on the matter. Right, sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm out. Be posted. I, I retracted, retracted. Okay, yeah. so let so me... So the, me... the tactic is just to draw him out so that way I can bomb him with studies. No, my question was retracted. Yeah, let me, but, but let don't, me don't worry about why well, you did it. Just could you just could you now just post the actual study that's that's referred to in that, and we can go through that one and look at it. So let me let me let me re let me respond to this here real quick. So, um, aside from this is aside from that, it's coming from Principia Scientific International and Conservative Treehouse and blah blah blah. The original source of the actual study itself is this Nature piece here, and it's a study of 10 million residents of Wuhan, China. And so obviously we know we know what China did in response to the emergence of the virus in Wuhan. And it even says here in the abstract, which is that stringent COVID-19 control measures were imposed in Wuhan between January 23rd and April 8th, 2020. And so this study is from very, very early on uh, in the pandemic yeah. in China. And we know that basically everyone was wearing masks, everyone was social distancing, people were welded into their houses. So if this is the study that you're pointing to to say that people that are asymptomatic aren't spreading it, I think that the reason that they're not spreading it would be because of the very strong mask usage, social distance usage, hand sanitizing usage that was implemented. And the, the so and, and that's a uh, that could be a um, like a, your synopsis, I guess. But then you've got to look into what has been the effectiveness in every. Well, can talk. I respond? With you? So what what was the effectiveness in every other country of uh, the, what they call um, hygiene theater, right? So the hand washing and those things, right? So you'll find a bunch of articles out there saying stop the hygiene theater because there was no uh, scientific um, uh, backing to it, right? So uh, that was one thing. Then there was, you said about uh, people st staying in the home or whatever with their family. And then so in most countries, there was a, there was a bunch of articles as far as, and like uh, there was like studies out of California. And I know that's the one that, because I was out there, uh, which was looking at like, hey, uh, uh, most people are catching this from their family, from people that they live next to, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so what I'm, so that's why I was like, you know what? It's cool that you're saying that's that that's in the earliest days, and that's why I, I wouldn't cite, you know, that as like my only article. I just thought it was an interesting article, just because I just put it in DuckDuckGo. Uh, I know it's an that's article fine. that I read a long time ago, so I just was doing that to give y'all something to go over while I got it, because uh, right now my computer's going slow. That's so I'm okay. going over to where I keep all of my stuff so that way I can start I posting just, again. Okay, I just want to check with you though. So um, do you accept that my explanation that I gave as to why uh, the asymptomatic cases didn't really come about, like the spread from asymptomatic didn't come about, is a reasonable explanation based on what the article is uh, covering? So that's why I tried to address it. So um, the hygiene part, I had to say no to that. I had to say no, uh, or, or okay. it's a possibility as far as, because what I'm you said earlier about, about this article here, I'm not talking about hygiene. I'm not, I never mentioned hygiene. Um, uh, mentioned you said hygiene. people washing their hands and stuff like that. You, you, so the three things, correct me if I'm wrong on this. You said, could this be wrong? Because the way that China initially handled the outbreak was people wore masks, people stayed home. Uh, it was very controlled as far as who could go out and da 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 da. And then also, uh, you said they were washing their hands. Are those the things that you said? I don't think I mentioned hand washing, but that would be. I did. I mentioned use of disinfectant, but I mean that's fine. Um, yeah. So though, I mean, but I'm just saying that if we're looking at the case of China, where they took extreme, very stringent, and it says here in the abstract, stringent COVID-19 control measures. Yeah. 
And like, and you're talking about they even wear masks in the house too with their family. We would have to look at other countries that also took very stringent, like uh, Peru. You know, so very stringent. What? Like if you were seen walking outside, uh, they had like uh, um, they had uh, drones that would uh, try and catch you, and the police would come and arrest you. Well, why, wait, so there's other countries that China. also enforced it very authoritarianly. Why would we start talking about? Why would we start talking about measures in Peru? And like family Similarly. spread in California Similarly if we're talking about China. Because I was trying to, uh, you got, so right now, if it worked in China by being very strict and by uh, enforcing all these things, then if you enforced all those things in another country, it should also, see, does that make sense well, as did, far as what I'm saying? I mean, th theoretically, right? But obviously when it comes to reality, different countries respond to things in different ways. And when it comes to, so for, with respect to Peru, which actually has one of the highest rates per capita in the world, if not the highest, those, those, uh, I would, I would imagine that those restrictions would be, uh, only put in place after the spread starts happening. And then of course, we also know that Peru has, Peru also has massive, uh, um, like medical, um, what do you call it? Like they, they have a hard time getting medicine and like regular care. And they're also so, extremely poor, so they can't afford so the to like, not brought, go out and do stuff. Yeah. So the reason I brought them up was because they actually started enforcing it very early in the, and they, they didn't do it late. So that's why I, I understood where you're going with that. You're going to say, well, maybe they enforced that later on, and they didn't. And that's why I said, if somebody in the very earliest days started enforcing strict mask, strict this, strict that, and that's why I said uh, th those will be comparable. Because if, if it should work in one place, it's the same thing should work in the other. If you're, if you're trying to see why, right? But even then, like I said, there's other studies that talk about asymptomatic or whatever. I was just uh, giving something, but I mean, you know, uh, you're, uh, I, you know, it's a guesstimate as far as why it didn't, you know, or, and, and it's, it, so it'll, it'll be a guesstimate. So your point we should have been stricter in the lockdown. We should, have, we should have restricted people more. They shouldn't have gone out their houses more. No, that's not my better point. Oh, so you, oh, I thought that's what you. I thought you were saying that basically they weren't strict enough. Yeah. Oh no. No. I'm, no. He's saying uh, no, that I'm no saying, matter how strict it is, it's still going to happen for whatever reason. Oh, yeah, so you're so saying that you think the numbers would have been lower if we didn't do all these restrictions? The infection rates, the death rates, the hospitalizations would have been. Oh, I see. So your point is the number with the, without all of this interference, the numbers of deaths, infections, and hospitalizations would have been lower. That's what you're saying. Partially, mm -hmm. so partially. So let me partially. Be very okay. Now, clear. where? What? what so let what, me be very clear. Partially. Can I clarify okay. so that way you don't have to ask me another one? Let me, let me, let me clarify again. So what I'm saying is, if people who were sick stayed home for up to four weeks, so that's two weeks while they when they first signs the symptoms, and they stayed home for up to two weeks after the symptoms were done. What I'm saying is, if people stayed home, just the people that were sick, the people that had. Um, like uh, any, like if they were sneezing, coughing, things like that, those people should stay home. Everybody else should go out and live their life, right? Because symptomatic, right, right, right. Do, symptomatic is, wouldn't have known that they were sick, though. Right. So, so this well, is this, okay. is, this is why, why it's say. important so to talk about asymptomatic. So unfortunately, how do you deal with the people that are just going to not stay at home? How do you deal with the people that don't understand that they have symptoms? Uh, let's say the person's yeah. mentally ill, right? They have no yeah. real idea what's going on on a basic level, and they're coughing mm -hmm. and sneezing and going around. So. Yeah. You're saying oh, that we would just, I think the problem is micromanaging these, these cases is difficult. People tend to not want to do something if everyone's not doing it, right? Why should I do it if they're not? They put these things in place because a lot of people are dumb. A lot of people don't even know they're sick. But this now, is how, how do we, how do we account for that? How do we stop them from spreading it? Yeah, so and this I, is what I wanted to finish. Uh, so we know right now the survival rates of the people that weren't at risk, right? So um, what I was trying to, when I, what, what I wanted to finish was the most important people, because honestly, even letting people that were sick stay out in population, that's not a big issue. So I'm not, I'm not sick, because even if, even if we, uh, even if we kept 100% of people home and we didn't do any farming and, you know, we had some way of having zero transmissions, this would still come back, right? So I'm not saying trying to get to zero. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, is two things. So that's why the, the second part is so important. Um, people who are vulnerable, if you're elderly, if you're overweight, if you're a cancer patient, if you have uh, too many white blood cells, you know, the, the people that were uh, high risk for all other coronaviruses, if we would have kept them home 100%, then that would be... I don't know. Can I ask a question? Ask yeah, the sure. question, no one else talk, because it's going to echo.
I just wanted to know, because um, uh, all I did is Google this, and it says um, asymptomatic coronavirus infections uh, contribute to 50% of, of, of the spread, according to a U Chicago study. Um, yeah. What is your response to that? Yeah, I brought that Yeah, up. so there's been multiple studies. Uh, there's been multiple studies, and this is why we can't ever go off just one study. And this is what I was talking about by bringing in like a bunch of studies. So there was a CDC that said it was minimal. Then they said it, uh, it was less than 40% uh, or less than 30%. I forget what the number was whenever they, because they got criticism. So they had to come out and, and there was a lot of uh, politics involved in a lot of these studies. And so what I'm trying to do is, you know, I'm open to, you know, anybody else that if you find another study, bring it out there. Let's just put them all out there. But here's what yeah, I'm saying. Right. So could you answer the question? Could you answer the question? You were bloviating. What, what, I mean, that, I think somebody had already it. brought up that study. I mean, what do you want me to say more to it? Uh, I said yeah, that there's it's multiple it's studies. The that army boy, can, I can I ask you a question? The army boy. Like, um, would you, would you say um, that in terms of, Oh, are you there? All right, your mic's not working, Donnie Darko. You're Donnie Darko, your mic's cutting out. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of like he there's nothing you can really do. Oh, he's disconnected. I mean, I, I think I suppose the tough thing from the person who's saying that we were too strict on these lockdown things, I guess the tough thing is, is that there's nothing you can really do about it. So I would just get over it and deal with it as best you can and get back, you know, maybe wear the mask, whatever, do the things. Uh, yes. And just and just get over it, get over that as quickly as you can because it's not really, it's not that big of a deal in your life, and it helps people live longer and people not to die. So, you know, and and this is just one person, so you're gonna have people that dissent. So you're just one person, and it's it's uh, all the other countries are kind of getting on board, and it's a weird, well, this is a very American centric thing. So it's just, I mean, I mean, whatever. I mean, there's nothing you can really do about the it. So. You have to you back keep that in up. mind that the, the thing it. that we need, I've been, sorry, I've been trying to say this for a little while and I'll be, I'll be quick. Um, but the thing that we needed to, um, like we needed to slow down the rate at which people were being infected. Not necessarily, we're not necessarily just reducing like the maximum amount of people that are being infected. Oh, oh yeah, we know that. You know that. It's just you're gonna get people I'm that not disagree sure with it. Well, so, but the problem is, see, Scarlett. So, so what's good about this is that this is a minority opinion, right? That there's only one person that really comes with this. So, the problem is, if you're, you're going to get outliers like him. You're going to get people that don't want to toe the line. You're going to get people that don't really understand science. the I'm science. I'm not talking about your opinion, you're, bro. You're going to get people that you you're going to get people that, that aren't not really going luckily, to Scarlett. Time. Oh, sorry. I, was, I can't hear you when I'm talking because of the way my mic's set up. Sorry. Um, so, so I can't, I can't hear you when I'm talking because of the way my mic's set up. So, so if someone so wants to talk about their own fucking what? opinion rather than actual talk about science. No, sorry. So, sorry. When I'm talking, I can't hear you. So there's no point just trying to over talk. I can tell you. You, like, you sound like a very miserable What's person. What's happening? No, what I'm saying is, is that people that are in the minority like him, we don't really have to worry about it. What's the last time you got late? You sound very sad. You, huh? you have a very weak voice. You sound like a very I, I can't. Oh, I, mean, I, I can't help how my microphone makes yeah, um, but whenever, 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 whenever I need to, whenever I need to say, well, it's a minority opinion. Well, guess what? You know, uh, right? Yeah. How many, how many scientific anything I've ever well, been like mass opinion? I'm asking about luckily, science. You're talking about. I'm oh, it's just his opinion. They're ignoring it. They scoffed Galileo too. You know, they scoffed at Galileo. Exactly. He was a minority opinion. Thank you. Thank you. So you agree. Luckily, I was people like the clown. Clown. George Scarlett, so they don't have any. I was going to say it, but I was hoping it was implied. But thank you. Scarlett, they don't have, Scarlett, the good thing is, is this person has no power to dictate what people do. Why wouldn't them, you right? talk about science? Why would you get on here and waste everybody's time talking about your... Hold, hold the on. science well, disagrees well, with you, and well, well, all the experts and people that actually do have that. See, here's the, here's the, the unfortunate okay, for your so, position. So you, you can't well, let, cite let any of them, right? Huh? You're just here talking. Oh, over talking, were, uh, over talking isn't going to throw me. What's going to throw me is just me not being able to hear. No, I, I don't. I don't care. I think you I understand very that you're I mean, trying you're, to use. All you're doing is you're bolstering me. No, right no, now, no, 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 it's not. I'm not. I don't actually you know your name. I'm not exactly picking you out in particular. Huh? You're, you're coming in here and you're trying to uh, show some kind of God. weak ass. Relevant. Do you want to answer your question? Oh, it's just one man's opinion. No, no. I think you were talking. You were on the side of science. You come in here and you say. This Look, study you were given a study. You were given huh? a study. What study? And you, you can't hear. He's too busy over talking to me. You he's, he's more worried about bloviate than he is actually listening. Right. Well, so unfortunately, has, Scarlett, I was involved in this before you, so you can take a back seat. Yeah, I was trying to. All right. Yeah, so no, the you, good thing is, I don't think you don't have to worry about All you have to say is a study has been provided. That's it. What study? 
There's you the already of Chicago it. study. There was the PNAS study. We've, we've talked about, about that one multiple times. Yeah. There's been multiple studies, and this why this is what I was trying to talk about earlier. There's been multiple studies. Mm -hmm. Some from the CDC said it was right. less than fifty. The one from University of Chicago said it was fifty. There's other ones that said it's way less than that. Right. It's uh, closer to there's zero. Right, there's so, there's you're cherry picking. Yeah, no, I'm saying let's take them all into consideration. I'm saying mm. the one okay. that I think is most credible is when you put people on a treadmill or whenever you, you actually right. get them to breathe heavy and you do it into sensitive equipment. I think that's a better study. That's just my opinion. If you guys think that there's another study out there, that's great. But tell me <laughs> how they did the study and let's talk about it. But what I don't is want is just get on and be like, well, you know, health. fuck that. I don't, huh? how, is that how is that not a productive conversation? So the Can good thing is, is the people me? that the people that are in charge of public health aren't you, right? So they're experts. They know. Would you agree that they know more about this than you? They're more studied. There's been lots virology. of studies. So what huh? I'm trying to. Okay, so here. Okay, let me huh? let me try and address what you just said, right? So what I'm right. saying is is that there's been a lot of misinformation, even from people that are in charge, like Fauci, right? Oh, like there's you mistakes made in all countries. Yes, I agree. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, is that we should look at the actual science like adults rather than trusting uh, that some politically connected person made a good decision because we see already that they you did not. That they didn't so, look at it like adults. Is that what you're claiming? What's that? that they, are you saying that they didn't look at it like adults? Why? Can't yeah, I'm saying that, that they looked at it through a, a political view, which they've admitted to. Right. Well, they've why already can't that, we just say that about your study? Yeah, like, let's talk about the studies. Thank you. Right. Thank well, you. no, I'm saying that why can't we just say that your study, the people that made your study are politically motivated and therefore we shouldn't take yours into account and just look at mm -hmm. ours. So here, here, great question. Thank you. So here's the question that we have to ask. Right now, when we knew about oh, the Wuhan, you. we knew about the Wuhan where uh, that this was a leak out of the lab or whatever, right? Um, no. We knew I it to be. I don't remember to say anyone uh, saying that we okay. knew that. Well, let me, okay, let me, let me try and make sure that everybody and I are going to get triggered. So what I'm saying is we knew that there's a pro, there's a bunch of evidence that, that points to the fact that it came out of a Wuhan lab. There's zero evidence that says that it came from a wet market or anywhere else. Right. What so it's, it's zero. Evidence. That's so bad. That's right. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's Look, talk about we, it. We just don't know. Yeah. No, like, no, no, no. Uh, so if we're talking about here. evidence, let me, right, there's a whole series of things. There's a whole string of historical cases from previous infections that have come from wet markets. Therefore, it's know, evidence. That is evidence that it came from that. Right. So that's how I'll... evidence works. Yeah. Right. If, if okay, I so if, if I if I look, if I wake up and, and every day before me the sun has risen, that's evidence that the sun will rise tomorrow. Okay. If it doesn't, I mean, that's evidence that it's not going to. Right. Okay. So let me ask you a specific question. Out of the, I believe it was uh, eighty thousand animals that we tested around that and around that wet market. Actually, correction, I believe it was eight million. You know, but out of all the animals that we tested around that uh, wet market, there has been zero, right? And then there's the what is it? The, Who tested uh, them? CG, Who tested them? Uh, that was out of China. That was out of China. I mean, it wasn't. Are trusting China? So China, who's been covering this up from day one, saying there isn't a problem, you don't trust them, bro? you're suddenly going to trust them that their, their study okay. says that okay. there's nothing. So why would right. they try to make themselves look guilty? Is my question. Why do you think that that's that's what they Wait, go, they're 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 goal here? That's okay, what the U.S. Okay, is doing. They're, they're, let me let me make a full uh, thought, and then I would like you to respond because I think you're when you dive in the middle. I think it's um we're not we're going to be talking cross sections, and we won't ever get anywhere. So let me try and be very clear. Um, right now, China has not wanted because they don't want to lose the Olympics, or whatever. China does not want their country to be to be blamed for this, right? So right now, China they've been killing the scientists. I, yeah, that that's the reason. Uh, maybe it's not the Olympics, but what I'm saying is we well, know that not the Olympics because it's not being can held there. Explain? Can you please just let me finish? And no, I'm but when you're wrong on problem. something like that, it just shows you're not really capable of reading. Oh my God, bro! So you're saying that you agree with what I'm saying that China doesn't no want to be blamed. To you just don't. You don't know what the reason is. No, I was agreeing with what you're saying. I was saying you were dumb for getting a can fact so basically can I incorrect. Can I can I finish now? Okay, so China doesn't want to be blamed, whatever the fucking reason. I, obviously, they don't want to be blamed. I mean, shit, bro. I'm just trying to give you something to, to eat because I feel like you're a dumb person. You know what I mean? I, I'm trying to I'm trying to yeah, give yeah, you yeah, something. Yeah. Did you think about Anyways, that one for a long time? Either way, they don't want to be blamed. They don't want to be blamed, right? So whatever the reason is, they don't want to be blamed. They've been killing scientists to make sure that they could try to stop the information. They deleted, they got the NIH to delete the initial data from the initial patients to try to cover up the actual uh, the actual uh, genome for the for the virus. So they've been trying to hide information on the virus and the actual origins for a while. So what I'm saying is all that information is pointing one way. So what you're saying is is that these scientists out of China they can't be trusted because they just found that there was no 
uh, there was no animals. I'm not saying that the scientists are not trusted. Account. I'm just saying that where you're getting information from, if you're just saying it's coming from out of China, that's a bit but vague you're, because you're a lot of stuff that comes out of China you're is discounting science based on I'm, your saying. I'm not discounting China science at all. I'm, I'm discounting it, but I'm not discounting you're anything. Discounting I'm saying that, that you're just science. making. I'm just well, saying that you're making these proclamations. You're making these proclamations as if they're fact, and I haven't seen anything to back it up. Wait, because we might. He might think that there actually isn't a COVID virus. We don't know if he actually believes there is a COVID virus. I can't. I can't take stupid people, bro. Like, yeah, but you do know, you believe there's like, actually a COVID virus? Y'all so, like some of y'all. I mean, some of y'all have been okay, but... No, I mean, no but, but, but why is that a difficult question? Do you, believe, do, you believe, do you believe... I mean, think about how you stupid believe... you sound, bro. Like, well, what, you're, you're trying to imply... Trump said that there was no COVID. Is that what you're trying to imply? No, no, I'm just asking. Why would you jump in with something so stupid? Why would you jump into anything with something so stupid? Well... We've got to establish I'm a basis. We have about the double CCG uh, fucking helix or whatever, and you're talking about. Well, he might not think they did the fucking virus. Think about right. No, what you might. Do. We don't know because you're saying all things. So, huh? Other people huh? trying to have more productive conversations. You're over here trying to talk about ignorant shit. I'm no, trying, it's not oh, ignorant. It's just, that just trying matter. to get a. So one of the oh, things that seems to be so buried into. Why huh? would why would anyone so condone an adult jumping into a conversation? Yeah, look, these are all the talking. Let me just explain something. Your canned lines and your over talking isn't going to throw me. I'll just get right back. I, do you, you think, do you think me? that well, you know, COVID I, virus I, I, exists? How many stupid things have you said so far, huh? bro? Do you think it's a virus? What the fuck else would it be, man? Okay, so you, you agree that you agree that okay, so let me just write this down. There is a COVID Holy virus. Shit. It's a virus, and do you agree that it acts in the no, same it's way? It's called coronavirus for huh? no fucking reason. Right. Do, you, do you agree? Why do you, are you agree that it's stupid? Yeah, do you agree that it transmits? Why don't you just listen? No way. this is much easier if you don't get upset. Huh? Shut up. Dude, ask, you, ask an intelligent question and shut up. Yeah, like, okay. do, you, do you, you think this transmits in the same way as, as a normal COVID virus? Holy shit. Yes. Yeah. It okay, yes. Okay. So, so your point virus. is, is that by, by removing PPE and restrictions on social distancing, <laughs> isolation, that, that this virus is, is real. Is effective? You stupid fuck. Huh? Are you? Are you? Would it be? Huh? We've already talked about. So you can right, talk so, about the effectiveness of the PPE, but just coming back in, just talk about stupid shit is stupid. All right, hold on, hold yeah, on. So, you, mm -hmm. so. You, you've said the same word a lot, but you haven't really gone anywhere with that. So, so you agree that we shouldn't have been doing these restrictions. We shouldn't do social distancing. We shouldn't oh, wear masks. How many times do I have because, to say this thing so over? Huh? What's over? We're, are you brand new? Did you just get here? If you are, uh -huh. I forget you. But otherwise, I've already said exactly what. Brand I'm new. You must just got here. Okay, so you just got here. Okay. What? So what I'm no, saying is this right no, here. I yeah, give an outline of what your actual point is. People who are vulnerable. People who are vulnerable. Politics. Right? Are still we've known, everybody here, we've known from the very beginning of the outbreak, who's susceptible to coronaviruses. People who are elderly. That's another people who claim. have cancer. People who have asthma. They have uh, lung infections. Things like that. Right? So we've known the same people who will die from every other coronavirus. And the same people who are dying from this coronavirus. So what I'm saying is the more effective lockdown would have been to lock those people down who are vulnerable. Because right now, a young person, a young, healthy 20-year-old, year old, their likelihood of dying is literally... It's not about them right? dying. No one no one thought that 21-year-olds were going to die. They obviously a couple did. How but many? The point of locking down everyone was to prevent the spread of it of around places where people were old, right? So Not everyone who's old lives in a care home, right? That's not how old people work. And I, so, I, I hate to break it to you, but old people do actually kind of have I life. Know, I'm to a little cheap so point. I, you, I mean, it doesn't, so, I'm saying, so what I'm saying is this right here. Is that not your There's point that old people are more do. susceptible than young people? Or have okay. you just like been rambling for the last five Who's minutes? Who's more susceptible to dying than young people? What do you mean, bro? We're not trying to keep cases down. That would be stupid. Right. We're trying to keep deaths down. So what I'm saying is this right here. No that, that right now, no, we, we understand. Wait, what? what? You, need, you can't, you can't keep deaths without keeping cases. No. Bro, I mean, okay, so, okay, since the very beginning of the outbreak, we've known, I mean, there's literally been, uh, if you go to MIT Review or Harvard uh, Harvard Technology or whatever, MIT Technology, Harvard Review, if you go to this, like, the in the very earliest days, we've known there's nothing you can do to keep the cases from expanding. Even if you drive it down to absolute zero, it will eventually come back, just like the... That's just like a claim. Yeah, okay, this, okay, this is like okay, the, this is like the, this is, this is like the fifteenth yeah, claim that you've made that goes against on, like right, let me, that let me without actually backing it up. If there's, if there's zero, if there's zero <laughs> virus, then it doesn't transmit. But but that's why I brought up the yeah. fact that we're reducing the rate at which it it's spreading because the thing is that even if it does come back, the the fact is that because we've reduced the rate at which people are getting sick, now the hospitals can actually keep up with the workload. 
Yes. And, and that was the supply initial, load. That was the initial. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure nobody's going to interrupt. But that was the initial claim, right? That the it was going to be two weeks to stop the spread. You're one to talk to about interrupting. Okay. To ensure, well, as long as he said something intelligent, so I'm going to respond. The initial claim was to there was two weeks, uh, three weeks, two weeks to spot, stop the spread because we don't want to have uh, an overload for the hospitals, right? So we know that most places in the country, uh, there were some places where they were overloaded. Most places weren't. So if you would say we should everybody stay home, uh, it, it, whenever um, uh, hospitals become overloaded, then that would be an intelligent thing to say, right? If you say keep all the uh, healthy people. They let them go and live their life, keep the people who are vulnerable to dying, uh, keep them home, then that would be a very intelligent way of handling a virus. You so understand the, the first thing is what we actually did. Right? On. If, takes, you're saying, about, if you're saying it takes those about two, things, two we, weeks for the virus to show itself. So you can't just say, <laughs> oh, we'll just like lock down after the fact, because by that time, everyone's basically gone around to their grandparents, hugged them, kissed them and given the kiss of death. So the problem is right. not to that do with is, not yeah. to do with old people just magically getting it and dying. It's to do with the fact that people, human beings, other than yourselves, obviously, um, like visit their their grandparents and like like hug them and kiss them, shake it's their hands, just... eat food with them. So the problem is, if you just say, "Oh, it's only the old people we need to lock down," the, the, the everyone who's young is going to be going around, and of course, not everyone who's old is going to be just like hiding in a bunker somewhere. Um, they're going to be basically spreading around the entire nation, and it's just basically going to be a wall of a virus that just just moves across and just infects any old people it comes across. So oh. unless you've got some sort of actual pragmatic way of like hiding old people in bunkers for the next 18 months whilst uh, everyone else develops herd immunity, I don't quite see how you have an option other than to just lock down the country to uh, some degree. old people oh, either. What? So here's the question, right? Here's the real question. Why did with you not just flu, respond to my actual year, point? With the flu every year. No, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address your thing. So with the flu every year, people die, right? Young people, old people, people die. We understand that there are risks with just being human, right? There, there's, no way uh -huh. to get, there's no way to get deaths to zero. What we want to do is handle it in the most intelligent way possible. Right. So, right. This is so can I address that? You've made a point. Hang on. Before you move on to the next 15 points. And pretend okay. I, I just want to tell you, I posted a so, link because this is. Uh, I'm not interested. I'm that. interested in addressing I, your point. I, I, I okay. just, like, going, right. So like, instead of just again, like I've just said, instead of going on to the next 15 points and expecting us to just like swallow it all down like some creamy. Right. Um, right. I just um, that I let's just address the point you made, which I've now forgotten because you've been rambling again. Right. So what was your point that you made after I just asked you a question and you didn't answer it? He doesn't remember. You asked me, you asked me about, uh, about, uh, how do we, um, I forget what you were saying now. I can't remember. Yeah, of you... course. Cause he's I, not I, I said, I said, how do we deal with the fact that we can't just lock old people in bunkers for 18 months? I said, whilst everyone else that was my answer. Right. Yeah. You said something about the flu, right? That was the, that was the other thing, right? So uh, yeah, yeah. Lots of people die from the flu. In fact, yeah, in fact, in deaths. fact, in America, one of the last two years ago i think it was no, it was no, one no, of the no, highest no. rates of deaths from the flu yes. like ever right yes. so the thing okay. is what happened with coronavirus is a it was at the beginning it was the virus that no one actually knew what the infection rate or the death rate was so it could have been zero it could have been like 100 percent. so like no one knew what exactly what the threat was so and because it was a new virus there was no vaccine available and no chance of a vaccine up until at least like i would say like what we have now which is what about 18 months after we've got like an actual rollout for it so Unlike the flu, which we have a vaccine for that comes out every single year, uh, we have a new virus that has no one has any idea about. It takes time to study. And initial, case, initial cases started to show the fact that it, it was on average about 10 times more infectious than the flu and also about 10 times more deadly uh, to old people. That is not just to like normal people, normal people like I'm just going to like walk, walk it off. Right. Obviously, there were people that ended up in hospital dying and paralyzed and all God's God awful things like that as well. But your argument isn't that we should give a shit about that. Your argument is, oh, well, compare it to the flu. The flu is like bad, right? No, so the flu is to about is on average about 10 times less infectious and less deadly than this one. So it's not exactly the same thing as just saying, oh, it's just the same as the flu and we don't care about the flu. We just take like we don't have a lockdown for the flu. There's like a whole series of like factors that come into the fact into the case that it's a complete like it's an epidemic that we've not seen before, that we've never had like an epidemic of this kind of type before in the planet, right? <laughs> okay. so we just have so of this that, level. So we didn't know if it was going to be like if it was, was going to be like just like a you know whatever, or it was going to be like a full blown like like a uh, plague or something. And when it turned out that it actually was pretty serious, like I said, about ten times more than flu. That's that's justification enough to do something a bit more than just telling people to like 
wash their hands and you know and stay and just stay at home if they want to right you can't just tell people well if you feel like it because just look at what happened in the uk like everyone didn't give a fuck about the rules until they actually put their foot down everyone was going yeah, that was the the, that's what my, my point was earlier is that, that we're controlling for the people that aren't gonna aren't gonna do the things they're asked to do you could you could do his his method i agree you could do the exact things you said and those are very sound ideas keep people isolated but there are going to be people that just don't do that right so and, and we know that people when something isn't mandated to them they'll do whatever the fuck they want no one started wearing masks here none of the stores started cleaning equipment none of them put up dividers or started social distancing until it was enforced right some did i mean you're gonna find cases where they did so that's that's how it needs to go forward with things like this. I mean, whatever. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't get why someone would be upset about this. I mean, what? Because you have to wear a mask or something? Or did you lose a yeah. job or lose a business? Like, literally, the worst thing that you could do is probably lose your job. Okay, okay. just the furlough scheme. Lose a job, lose a business. Yeah, right. that would be bad. I mean, people having family members die is also very bad as well. So in comparison, like you losing a job or like because you have to wear a mask or maybe not go to a bar, no one really cares about that, man. So I would just stop being upset about it and just get on with your life, find a new job or you whatever. You're that you're responding to something that's not even my argument first We're just, off, so you no, guys we're just trying to understand why you're so upset about this. Saying. I know, maybe you should listen to me then. Maybe you should but ask. You haven't, him, you haven't given him reasoning about why you oh why you God, think bro, this. Bro, bro, please be quiet. Huh? Okay, so let me let me explain. Yeah, explain right. why you're upset about this. All right. So I am trying to have a policy that would save as many lives as possible, and what you guys are saying would have led to more deaths, to or the same amount of deaths that we had. What I'm saying is what you That's are fine. saying is ineffective. So what I'm saying is this very specifically. Oh, no, the, no, these actions have saved lives. Please let me respond. Yeah, that, but there's empirical evidence. Hang on. Oh, yeah, you, you know empirically that these actions have saved lives. Yeah, I'll lives. talk for at least a couple minutes. Just let me respond, please. So what I'm saying is, is that there was a more intelligent way to handle it. And what I'm saying is that having a blanket ban for everybody, having a blanket lockdown for everybody was not an intelligent way to handle it. So what I'm saying is when you're saying, well, some people aren't going to listen, well, life comes with risk and that's okay. So if there's an elderly person or an obese person or a person with cancer, cancer patient that chooses to go out to the store. It's we not cannot... that. You just, you're an idiot if you think that's the argument. No one's saying that because you're a cancer patient, oh, well, if you go out into the store and like start licking windows, that's your own fault. No, it's like yeah. literally if you're going outside and no one's wearing masks, you're walking, like everyone exactly. who just who might have to go outside is just literally walking into a mist of the virus versus just not. Okay. Right. The whole point okay. is okay. that you're keeping okay. the case okay. rate down. And there's, there's so many factors that like that give you advantages in doing this let, by keeping the case rate down. Okay. So it's empir I, and also I'd like to point out that empirically it is actually the case that wearing masks did and having a lockdown did actually reduce the amount of cases because it correlates exactly place. when we had the fucking lockdown that all the cases dropped. Including the death rates. Most people are getting tests. Okay. Okay. So let me get let me finish what I'm saying. So what like that, oh, I the thought you were finished. that MIT. The reason I posted that MIT article mm -hmm. was because, as I said earlier, even if we locked everything down for uh, five months and got the cases to zero, it would come back. Right. So this yes. is that's why I posted that article. So well, what accounts two. for the drastic drop in in countries like here where we had a strict lockdown where we enforced PPE? And so it's just things. Well, how do you account for the numbers dropping then? So right there, uh, like let's say, uh, let's say you do the extreme case, and you, you nobody leaves the house for five months, right? No, just just yeah. let's just cases talk about the real cases. Don't talk about an extreme case. Let's talk about the cases, example I gave. I'm, I, I want to be able to make my point. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but your point's referencing so, something I'm not referencing. So if you want exactly. to go back on track, so that's fine. If, if 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 everybody stays home, if a hundred percent of people, ne nobody left to go to the restaurants, yes, cases would go down. No, but, but they did go down in uh, countries where that wasn't the case. Let's exactly. stick with the real example. So in yeah, the UK, no, 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 no. you're literally making a bad point, and this is what I'm trying to. No, expose. it's not a bad point. You, you so, so in the UK, please, so man, in the UK, what buy, accounted like, for this? So in the UK, so in the UK, what accounted I, before the vaccine for the numbers dropping? So as I said, if everybody stays home, if a hundred percent of people stay home, do we need to home, explain how a conversation works when someone asks you a yeah. question, right? And it's like I just move on to a completely different point. I answered the question. So please, you moved on to a different point. Holy fuck! I said if everybody stays home. Of yeah, course, and we're saying that's not the question. And now there's yeah, more, no, there's actual science that has to go into this. Y'all aren't using your fucking brain, right? So mm -hmm. here's what I'm saying. No, well, you're not I mean, following the conversation. I'm going to post, okay, no. post the article again because, uh, oh, wrong so, one, wrong one. So let me ask you a second. So, so how do you, let me, maybe he didn't hear me. Maybe he didn't hear me because he was ever talking. So in the UK, right, as a result of locking down the PPE, the social distancing, we saw a drastic uh, reduction in the numbers of deaths, infections 
hospitalizations. What do you think accounted for that? That's a short-sighted view. And this is why I'm trying to respond. I said, no, I already answered it though. I've already agreed with you. If everybody stays home, if 100% of people stay home, yes, cases will go down. Now, let me make the intelligent part of the conversation, which you're missing. Okay. Mm, drum cases roll. will come back next fucking year. It's a very short sighted right, so view. How, right. Please, I let get me where you're coming from. No, let me finish what I'm now. saying. What, so, let me, carry on exactly. nothing. so, what I'm saying is, if you get cases to go down to zero because everybody stayed home, then when everybody goes back out, guess what? It comes back. So, this right, is the so here's the, resp here's the response to, response to your point that you've actually okay, just sure. made that I What's understand that? fully. Okay. Old people don't just include 85 year olds. They also include pretty much anyone over the age of 55, people who have to actually work. OK, so these people can't just stay indoors for the next three to four years whilst they invent they some sort to. of magical cure that just like kills all of COVID. They right? don't need they have, to. They have to. Yes, also, they do, because if everyone has the fucking virus, no, bro, then anyone over the age to. of 55 suddenly can't go outside. Place, you just literally, your point literally said that it would just keep coming back if we had social right. lockdowns of until any when, until when, you, until you when, said for, you said for ever, essentially indefinitely until you said when. for more you said for no, longer longer than we have at the moment you said it would just keep coming back until we reach herd immunity and that's why you should right it until we point. reach herd immunity and if you okay. understand what herd immunity is without yes. a vaccine that basically means killing everyone else off oh, who isn't immune to it <laughs> By virtue right. of natural selection. Oh my god! So herd immunity. Uh, it only. Oh my god, bro. Oh my. Oh god. my god, bro. Yes. People, Do you understand why well, there's a reason okay. why we well, use vaccines? Let's say. Let's say we had none but twenty-two year olds out in the world. People that won't die from. No the one cares vaccine. about the twenty-two the year olds. I just oh, gave you the oh point about the fifty-five so year olds. Healthy people. If people who are young all went out and reached herd immunity, you're saying that they people would all die. People that are young can be at high risk. I know, but those high risk I've already people, stated that I I'm not talking you, about man. young people. I'm talking about fifty-five. Know, but, I'm talking okay. about fifty-five year olds who have jobs, who provide high, money to the economy, who pay taxes, who oh. have savings, who run who businesses. Because down, listen so to the words that are coming down. out of my mouth, or just shut up. Fifty-five year olds. Fifty-five year olds who but own companies. People. The people that you probably work for, right? The We've already been own, doing smackdowns, bro. The people bro. who oh, own your business oh, that you probably work for are in the real age. Can, are you able to just shut that. up? We've are you able to just saying. be quiet for more than five well, seconds while someone, someone else talks? Because I think right, he's shown that he can't really control himself. You can't just, you just can't do it. You're incapable of just not shutting up for five seconds. We've already done shutdowns. You don't understand how a conversation works. A conversation works where when you bring a point forward, someone actually, yeah, I'll go for it. I am been going for it, but you just keep interrupting. So I would just ask you to just... Let's go. Close the close I'm the done. lips. I'm no, done. no, go, you go. don't have to yeah, keep it's, telling it's, me. It's, you don't have to keep telling me that I can keep speaking and okay, then just bro, interrupt I'm me to yeah, tell yeah, me I can keep speaking. Isn't really going to make that, life any better. How, so that's not how conversations make work. Point. And so I stepped away for a second. Did I get an answer on why the numbers drastically fell in the UK? No, no, we didn't. He didn't. So I want. It just seems weird that someone that wants to debate this doesn't have an answer. Y'all are y'all are too stupid. I said if everybody. Well, that's not a substantive answer. Would go down. I literally said, if everybody stayed home, of course, cases are going to go down. I said that the goal should be to reduce deaths. But why are you so saying that? Next winter. Ne no, I, I, the goal should be to reduce cases for home. reasons I already put out. I already told you why reducing the rate at which people get sick is important for the hospitals. Yes, and, and I agree everywhere. with you on that. That's literally part of my idea. So that's it, you're agreeing with me when you say that. So thank you. No, now, I'm next. not because yes, you're you you're, you're, you're going to say that every old person, every every, 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 every don't every, understand what I'm saying. Then look, I'm I know, I know where he's on. getting this idea from. As well. Don't he's understand what I'm idea. saying. I can't remember the name of the guy, but he was essentially like spouting this out as because he was one of these like academics that was spouting this idea about herd immunity being this thing where you, you basically just get everyone in the in the in the medical industry and deliberately infected and like yes okay so 10 percent of them just die because of natural selection but lol whatever we've, we've actually brought like everyone herd immunity quicker the idea is that essentially you infect everyone quickly so yeah. that everyone develops herd immunity and therefore the, the quote unquote the overall number of people who die is is supposed to be lower there's That's no evidence to support that and it doesn't take into account the fact that the people that are most exposed to it are going to be the doctors that's who a misrepresentation treated. no it's actually what it's actually, a misrepresentation it, it's not a misrepresentation, it's a that's misrepresentation. Actually what, this is what an actual academic has been putting i know but it's a misrepresentation of, of my idea okay and how it's is a it a misrepresentation, misrepresentation? Are, you, are you saying that this wouldn't happen what i'm saying is is the people that you would infect like let's say you you play with who his would you, idea who would you infect is, specifically exactly that's the question how the on people well, that let's we get know, to it then. let me answer the people that we know would have zero chance of dying the people that we there's know there's no one who has zero chance of dying Any, well, anyone like, me, that's empirically false 
Okay, so of the people who are under 50, right? So of the people who are under 50 who have died, right? Uh, almost all of those people had other comorbidities, right? So what I'm saying you, is... You don't know that, but it, there's a, there's yeah, a large that, proportion that's actually, of them, yes. that, that, that's, that data's out right. there. So yes, we actually do know that. There's no, there's a large that. proportion, people but that doesn't mean that all those people... Those two not, not all those people had so that. We actually do know that. So don't say I don't know that. So what I'm saying is this right here, bro. You know what I mean? If Let's say we took all of us or not all really. the doctors, and if you left out the people that we know are susceptible to dying... You the don't know that. Why don't I know that? We literally because have the data on who dies. So how the fuck don't I know it? We literally have the data. You're just ignore. Either you don't know about that data, or you're you're trying to best to ignore that data. But we know I, you haven't who presented dies. any data. You've you just said you've just we said that the only people dies. that died no, had fuck, quote unquote some sort of prior you cases. You acknowledge the data on who dies from COVID. We, we you haven't don't presented know. any data, oh, don't, so you don't we, know we, it. So why the fuck are you on here talking? If you don't, don't even know about what I do know. I'm not talking about what I do know. So 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 you're saying that you're understand how like you you not knowing something doesn't mean that I don't know it. Holy fuck, bro. So you don't know, and you would like me to give it to you, is what you're saying? I would like you to put the data in, but that doesn't mean Holy that I don't know what I'm talking about here, or whether bro, it's kind of a so relevant there have point. been no studies on who dies from I, fucking COVID. Now who's misrepresenting Now who's misrepresenting This is what I'm talking position. about when I say you guys are stupid. There's so many people no, that are stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't really get the data study stupid feedback that you're getting. It's kind of like, this is like the thing, right? You're assuming that you're assuming that you're competent. You are assuming that you are competent at reading a study and understanding what it means. When a study says something like 70% of the people that that were young yeah. that died yeah. were like it's had prior causes had like other things. that doesn't yeah. magically mean that, that doesn't magically mean that the 30 percent of the other people have like no, have, have the same like causes right talk, if you, if you have a study that says 70 percent of people this is why, that, this is why uh, what the fuck this is why socialists look bad yeah well they're not talking about because we can tell you this is like you deciding that you just want to kill screen because you just can't understand like a simple point is it yeah so we never got an answer to the uk question we'll try a different one what is it i've answered it multiple times yes if everybody stay i've how, this is huh? the fourth time I'm answering it. Yes. Yeah, but you're not. You're just giving the an answer home. that isn't an answer. I've answered it. I'm gonna answer it again. No, yes. no, no, you're not. Everyone stays no? home. Yes. If everyone you're stays if. home. Yes. If, if everyone isn't an stays home, why? H is gonna go down option. to zero, and then they'll go right back up, and then you'll have huh? deaths. So you just state, you're, you're just restating all your claims. So, so, so you just a very simple point. It's a very I do agree. I do agree that you're saying something. I do agree that you're saying something, and those are words, but they're not. I do agree that you're saying something. Those are words, but they're not actually an answer to the question. Right. Huh? If cases go to zero and huh? then they come Dipshit. back up, hey, you're Dipshit. literally not making Dipshit. a point. Hey, Dev shit, can you shut the fuck up bro, for a minute and let somebody finish this? Are you trying to sound big? Are you say, bro, you wouldn't say I'm anything. I'm actually going to talk about having a UFC street fight now. You know, asking you as polite as you can. Oh, my God. JJ. You know you're very upset about having to wear a mask. Oh, my God. All right, all right, Anyways, anyways, who wants to try and have an intelligent conversation? Army, boy, you keep claiming you Right. Keep going. Okay, you keep claiming you want to have an intelligent so somebody conversation. Can respond to it. You Whoever keep, is the most you intelligent, keep, please respond. You keep if claiming that you, down keep claiming that you want to have an intelligent you, conversation, you, but then A, you're not, a, you're not able to just shut up for a second. And you got guys that don't even know Look, the fucking... Dude, uh, dude, like, so what I'm saying, what I'm right saying now, is this You're just kill screening and no one's hearing what you're saying. If... No, if, 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 if. Look, I'm explaining to you why this is why this is not a conversation. Yeah, I think there's a reason why the doctors are the ones yeah. that sort of work on you're, these you're public health things and not someone that spurs out right. on Discord. This is okay. this is a guy that's demonstrating he's so intelligent. Yeah, that he can't there's even a good reason why you're in the minority. Each of the buddy. people talking right now have all made stupid fucking points. Yeah, they're stupid. Uh -huh. so I don't get, care that yeah. you're all stupid jerk about how dumb you are. You get it. You've repeated you're yourself into people. redundancy. Yes. Okay. You've used up all your lines. Call someone a doo doo head next. We get it, right? You're dumb, stupid, intelligent. You sound weak as fuck. Yeah. Huh? I can hear yeah, you how sound weak as fuck. They fight you in the as street. Said, but, none right. of the, but see, the thing is, I, I, none of that matters, right? So what All I said of your right canned here. lines, what all I said right here. aren't going to change what the fact right that people... You keep huh? asking a very stupid What's question about the UK cases. Yeah. It does not matter you can't that cases that. go to zero if they're going to go right back up. Dude, listen. Listen to this. This is a great idea. It matters. It does but, not matter if cases go to zero. I understand that you don't want to listen to other people's opinions because apparently you know it everything. It does not matter <laughs> if cases go to zero, if it comes back next winter. So again, know, cases, huh? go cases go to zero, cases go to zero, cases go to zero, cases go to zero, cases go to zero. We, get, we heard it the first 15 next, times, please. Right? Exactly. Like, so, it do, so it's a bad get, argument. It's a bad argument. No, no, it's not an argument. It's a question. When I'm trying to talk about It's a bad argument. Can you explain the difference between an argument and a question to me? 
you're 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 trying to use questions intonation at the end of your voice like your your question here's how here's how here i'll make i'll i'll answer your question and i'll tell you where you're going with it because you were asking no what the hell either i'm going to be right or wrong you can tell me if i'm wrong you're going to tell me you're going to say how is it that lockdown cases went down wrong yeah, you're on still. Well, that was your that was your question. Hey, listen, can we can we just calm down a little bit? We we can't do this like this. Um, no Sana, shit. We, we're gonna just have to have some people talking some of the time and then allowing the other person to speak because you're not gonna be able to. Th this is just not gonna work. Yeah, sorry. So if you're that, gonna put please? a case forward, you're gonna need to. If you're gonna get the CDC and all of them to change your mind, you're gonna have to do it in a different way than this. They don't like it's people over time. I don't. I don't need to change the CDC. I'm. I mean, like. All the damage is already. Oh, you can't change the CDC. Right, yeah, me, you already we, lost. I, I have no interest in we, changing the CDC. Just I'm, just, I'm just laughing at how stupid you are. I'm, I'm enjoying myself right, right now. Let me, let me make no, yeah, I don't think that can be the case. Going to change the CDC. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just, if like, that, I, uh, I, idea, I know you think. I, I, think I know you think that you're like the most intelligent person in the server. Well, just, right? just in this we room. need to just. No. We need to just get the basics of how this works, right? When what happens is when you First, put a theory, to, when you put a many, hypothesis. Many look, can I finish a sentence? Hey, hey. Am I actually able to finish the sentence before like you actually respond? No, his oh. routine is just to over talk. He hasn't got anything. I don't know if that's been channel for the last fifteen minutes. Let's start getting. I have a turn talking to him. Look, just listen. This is all I'm trying to get out, right? When you put when someone puts through forward a hypothesis or a theory saying if x is the case then this then y will happen what usually happens in an intelligent conversation is people say okay let's figure out if this if this like if we put this to the test it would be true and they usually do that by like trying to critique the actual position by preventing by presenting counter examples like for example in this case oh you've put forward the idea that oh herd immunity works because x y z and we, and we were trying to go oh well, what happens about this, like, like conflating opinion, or what about this particular counterfactual? Do these things, in fact, exist, and do they like contradict it? And and we never got to that point because as soon as anyone puts something forward, you just call them stupid and, and start repeating you yourself again and again and again and again and again. You and it's just like, my argument. I have to call you I'm stupid. Not, I haven't put forward anything about your argument. I've put yes. forward about the way that you're presenting it. It's nothing multiple, to do with the. It's nothing to do with the content. My argument, and then right so it's oh, like my you're word. arguing a straw man. You're trying to create uh, a straw man. I don't like it. I'm not uh, even arguing the content of your argument. I'm literally so presenting the specific, form of specific, how you're presenting the actual. Use a specific like, that happened during the, the form during of the, the form of the argument, not the actual content. That's of it. Okay. Can you now what you just said? Can you show me where that happened in this conversation? Where well, just a specific case? Could you do that for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, sure. So what happens? What happens? Is you were putting forward your theory saying if it is this case, blah blah blah, to do with herd immunity, and then me and Ray were trying to basically can ask you, you questions you, about the position. And, and a suit. I don't need to because that's not what my point no, is. I, I'm just trying to make sure because what I'm saying is you misrepresented it. My so I'm argument, just saying, can my, you just my, sum it all back up? The whole my way. argument that I'm presenting to you right now has nothing to do with the content of your argument, but the way that you're presenting it. Right on how you actually have an intelligent discussion about a topic, and like I, I said, when you when you present a th when anyone presents a hypothesis, the first thing most intelligent people do, including the people that are putting forward the hypothesis, argument. is try to find a way to see if it's true or not, and that usually involves crit criticizing it in some way to see if it stands up to scrutiny. So, and the problem is, every time point. anyone's doing that to you, you're just like spurging out. You and haven't done that. And Show me yourself. where you've done it. Show me where you've done it. Just sh I, give me this. I was this. literally about example. to do that when you interrupted me. So yes. But so don't what? go blah 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 on my oh. argument. Specifically say what my argument is, and then tell it's me. It's irrelevant what, what your argument is. You no, it is not. I'll give cases. If, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, sir. Trump can do it. He's so going to give you, cases. Bro. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you cases. So he's going to understand what I'm saying. Like, please don't talk. Please don't talk. If you don't mind, so. Uh, I got a couple of them, so if you'd like, just you. um, take a few notes so that I can get through it. Use them all. Mind. Uh, yeah. All right. So the um, so okay, one let's do one at a one at a one one at a time, please. So that yeah, I that's can fine. Respond. Yeah, no, that. But I'm just saying. So if you, okay, it'd work better if if we got uh, okay. But I'll maybe I'll take notes. Okay. So the first one was uh, the ten the ten million case in China. I pointed out uh, that the article basically explains why that was the case. And also, I, I gave you notes and tagged you from actually within the study itself during in the discussion area where they list out how asymptomatic spread has been observed and they give the link to that study as well, which I linked also. And then and then what did I say uh, responding to that? Do you remember? I can I can restate what I said if you don't. You started okay. talking about Lima, Peru and California. 
Okay, so you made three points in, in your point right now, right? And those were legitimate, and that's why I responded to you as, as such, right? So what I said was, yes, this case was early in the, in the, in the actual uh, outbreak or whatever, and that's what, that was the first thing that you brought up. You brought up the date that it was done. I said, that's relevant. That's okay. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, all I did was I said that there was, other, there was other studies as well, and it's okay if you, if you disagree with this one. I just think it's interesting. So, boom. So I, that's what I said, number one. Number two, I said that if you're saying that the stringent lockdown matters, because that right there is not proven. That's not scientifically, that's their opinion in that study, right? So they aren't saying that we were able to study the effectiveness of all 10 million people, how, how much they locked down, da, da, da. So they aren't doing that. What they're, what they're doing is they're just making a, an idea of what actually led to uh, people actually, and that's why I said if, if the well, stringent no, worked for that, Sorry, no, they, they've, they've, read, yeah. they've read the other, other studies, and they've read the other literature about the lockdowns, and so they're In not... The early that's, not what the, mm -hmm. that's not what the scope of the study is. The scope of the study is to, to determine how well those lockdown measures mm -hmm. worked in reducing spread. Yeah. So, so let me, let me, uh, so here's what I said about that right there. I said that there's been multiple other studies that are more recent. So even the study that they would have linked in, in the study that I gave you or whatever earlier, that would have been in the earliest days or whatever, right? So what I'm saying now is very similar to what the CDC is saying, which is that it's almost, uh, well, first they said it's like almost non-existent. Then they got mad about the pushback. But, but this is why I brought up the no, fact no, they, that. Uh, I think they said I, that it's inconclusive rather than non-existent. Go ahead, though. Yeah, I just wanted to so they, they, there. Yeah. So they initially said non-existent, then they got pushed back, right? And they didn't want to be seen as on the side of Trump. And that's my opinion. That's my, uh, you can say that that's wrong, but I'm going to give you more information that proves why I'm saying what I'm saying. Okay. So that's an opinion. So there, that right there, they put, they got pushed back. Then they said, oh, well, yeah, you know, it's like, it's like uh, less than 40%. Well, the, you know what I mean? The and initial, so the reason I said- The initial claim, sorry, I just have to interject here. Uh, because my mm -hmm. what I was pointing out was that they didn't say that it doesn't exist, that it's non-existent. They just said that we're not aware of the extent to it, which was the same thing the UN was saying. It, they said extremely rare, I believe, was their initial. That was in quotes, right? So they said it was extremely rare. And then after that, when they got pushed back as seeing as being pro-Trump, then they said, oh, well, we don't want to be on the side of Trump. And that's my opinion. But I, let me tell you why I'm saying this. Because just like uh, the, the scientists, I think it was out of the, the CDC. I could be wrong. Uh, I, I could actually, I can go find this for you if you need me to. But uh, there was just a group of scientists that literally just admitted that they didn't want to, uh, to validate the... Uh, the, um, uh, well, there was one that did this with the hydroxychloroquine or whatever. They didn't want to admit that hydroxychloroquine worked or whatever. And uh, that's why CNN that's got away with saying, oh, you'll, you can die from this and all this stuff, which is- Yeah, you can die from it. But yeah, it makes your heart explode. Yeah, yeah, you need medical precision when you're taking it, otherwise no, no, you die. True, right? That is true, that's that how the, it's used. You, have to, you literally have to have what? a doctor there measuring it as you're taking it, otherwise oh. you can overdose like yeah. ridiculously easily. It's like three times the- like three times the normal dosage of what yeah. you need is a lethal dosage. I've, yeah, bro. Oh, oh my God, I've, man. So I've why are y'all why are y'all bringing up this stuff that's already been like done, right? So the the well, the, the, the way you're talking about the that three times. It out. It, me. Let me let me finish what I'm trying to say. So nobody is telling you to take three times the dosage that is recommended. I am you not saying that. Sense. I don't believe any doctor oh, has said that. I didn't say that either. Stop misrepresenting me. Please, I said, please let me, please look, let me if, finish if, making the point. No, because you're misrepresenting you said, me, which is wrong. You just you said, if you take, please, I'm going to tell you what no. you just said. You can tell me No, if I'm you're not going to tell me what I just said because I know what I said because I said it. You what said, I said was, you, you need a doctor. No, I, said, I, I will tell you what I said. Shush. I said that a doctor needs to be supervising you when you take this medication because it is such a, the amount that you need for it to work in the way it does. Is so potent that if you if you if you miscalculate the dosage by even a, I think it's about three times that's a lethal dosage. So it's not suitable for like some people. Yes, not suitable. Did I say take it without a doctor? Why are you bringing it up then? Did I say take it without a doctor? No, because no. you said you so use why are you making that argument? You can only use it in select cases. You can't just give it oh, as a general fine. treatment. No, no you that's can give problem. it as a general treatment. It's so safe that you can take it as a pregnant woman. It is not. That is a complete bullshit, the, and that's the a lie. Study, let me talk about the study that you're talking about, right? That was the VA study where they gave people it's three It's not a study. It's, it's how yes, the medicine it was works. Study. That's what it, we it's found. It's like it. saying there's a study on okay. how paracetamol works. Please let me. Please let me talk. Bro, this is a study, the VA study. Let me talk about the actual do you not have a corner to get to? Okay, so Let's... in the actual, the VA study, they gave people who were already dying three times the approved amount, right? 
I think that's insane. I think that's murder, right? No, no, that's not what happened. You're just that, being yeah, weird. Yeah, what happened. I'll, I'll cite you're, you're not. You're I'll understanding how, how epidemiology I'll works. They don't find the. They don't find I'll out what the lethal dosage is by killing people with it. They, they find out what the lethal dosage is okay. by testing it on animals, and okay. then they say, "Don't give this person more than and this." Because there's risk they gave them. that much to humans specifically. So I don't care about what your opinion is or whatever. I'm it's telling you, it's not my case. opinion. This is this comes from epidemiologists okay. who study the fucking chemical. Oh any 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 poison or chemical used in drugs. Not understanding what I'm saying. You're trying you, to tell you don't me understand how this works. Statement. You're telling me a generalized statement. I'm telling you specifically that they did this in the VA study. They gave the people that were already going to die three times the approved mm -hmm. amount of hydroxychloroquine. They did not give them zinc, which is what actually kills the fucking virus. This was it was an intentional. What the fuck? What, you're why like saying this is what I'm you, saying, bro. no, because you're just misrepresenting everything okay. here. You're saying that this is what they did in the study, and then and then you're like, adding things you? that weren't in the study. You can't Holy just say God. stuff about Holy zinc God. as if that's in the study. Too. We're in a study that they talk about oh zinc. Bro, so I, this is what I mean by dumb people. This, okay? this so is ridiculous. When, when you guys let this guy talk, and he's talking out of his ass, right? Y'all can all hear this. So what he is saying is that, okay. no, th th they, they didn't actually do that in the study. I'm saying, yes, they actually did that in the study, and I'll link the study. Instead Are you of, off your medication study, today? Bro, like, seriously, like, this is this is hilarious. And, and please, please, you're, please. you're talking about things that like, just made up. saying hydroxychloroquine actually cures... Uh, fucking hydro uh, the uh, the fucking virus. You, by you did. You literally just said. No, the I literally never said that. You said they said didn't, didn't that. say it because it's they would look like Trump cocktail. supporters. Literally, yeah, I've been listening. It's using a cocktail. It's using a cocktail as part of a cure. You, this right? is oh. not how you. This is not how conversations cocktail. work. It's not like you drive down the street <laughs> and anything in your way, you drive oh. over it. You fucking moron. You yeah. fucking moron. But you, you literally you said that they. You literally said that people thought the hydroxychloroquine didn't cure the cure the disease. Implying that that's what you think is curing the disease. Oh my god, bro, you are fucking stupid. So I'm please not your let, bro. Me, let me let me explain you're, what you're I'm saying. Talking about how stupid everyone is. So yeah, it's, 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 it's hilarious how you're the one calling everyone else stupid. Let's okay, not anyway, over talk. So here's, let's just here's what let it is. People have their turns, even if they're. So saying here's what it is. I'm, I'm under talking very right loudly. Let me. You're trying to argue my point. I'm going to go make a coffee to try to keep up with this guy. So here's what I'm saying. Hydroxychloroquine is used as part of a cocktail. Hydroxychloroquine uh -huh. is used as a transmission vehicle to get the zinc, which is necessary to kill the virus, right? So zinc. And you can't kills. just give him zinc. Please let me. Well, let him, you don't let just him give him zinc. Him. All right. I'll let I, you I have him. a study to stay away I'm about to post for him. So. Yeah. And, 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 and let me talk about those studies because there's a bunch of them, right? I have them. I have them all saved. Just so get to the point to, rather than please, talking about you studies. Stop you, talking. you never you post the studies. Please, you stop so just get to the point. Please, you stop talking. So here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. So it's used as part of a cocktail, right? So that was all of the entire thing, right? Yep. And I'll, I'll address that study as well, too. Thank you for posting it. That's so four of them plus a Redesivir one. I have a bunch. And Redesivir doesn't actually... posted none of them. Let me talk. Thank you, but I will. That's all you got to ask. Say, hey, post a study. I've been asking what? for the past hey, hey, 20 minutes. You okay, haven't posted you a single quiet. one. You are one of the stupidest people on the thing. You be quiet. So what I'm saying is, it's part of yes, a... Mommy. The the VA study it's did the not same line over and over. The VA, yeah, he is stupid. Well, yeah, I don't know. Stupid. I'm just going to keep calling you that. So the VA study did not you use. You just zinc. go on Discord to call people, people stupid. Hydroxychloroquine. Oh so who's who's talking about the study and who is bitching, bitching and moaning? Y'all, none you. of y'all are talking about the actual study. How about this? You fucking go read the study and tell me where I'm wrong. Either that or shut up. Thank you. So the VA study gave hydroxychloroquine only to these people, right? And then some of them gave azithromycin as well, right? They did not give, uh, they did, oh, correction, the Z pack, right? So azithromycin. They did not give zinc. Zinc is what actually goes in and kills the virus. So what I'm saying is that's a bad study, number one. Number two, I'm saying specifically that they gave people three times the approved dosage. And that's what led to a lot of people dying. That's what led to a lot of those CNN articles talking about how three times the approved dosage can kill you. But I'm also saying that this is such a, a this is such a stupid point, but not calling you stupid right now. I'm calling that point stupid because pregnant women can take freaking hydroxychloroquine. This has been safe for a so very long time. And it's been used for malaria forever. It's not a yes. dangerous drug. If it is you a dangerous overdose drug. on anything, it's if you overdose on anything, it's dangerous. Nobody no shit, Sherlock, that's not my point. Yes, the whole this point, is your the point. Whole, that no, if you it's take not. three times too much, that you can the fucking whole point, die. And guess what? Whole, if you drink too much fucking water, you can die. So shut yes, up. That's no shit, shit Sherlock. But guess what? Nobody's asking anybody guess, to take it without what? a doctor. You don't understand my point because you're listening. Up, are you going to let me no, explain no, my no, point or are you just going to pretend? Why are you bringing me, it up? Then? This, uh, if I'm I, not look, that Chum, can you just let him just like let me respond to him because he's just like talking. That army boy, will you please let Stargate make a statement here? And okay. um, you can you can speak after him.
<laughs> yeah, you can right, call him stupid in 10 minutes. Yeah, look, you can yeah, call yeah. me stupid afterwards. But I would actually like you to actually listen to what I'm saying rather than just carrying on. Okay, the point it. I'm trying to make, yes, I know. The point I'm trying to make is that, yes, anything can be can be toxic if you take enough of it. The difference is I can take lots and lots of water and it doesn't affect me. I can take a little bit of cyanide and it can kill me because of certain chemicals, the amount that you need to take of hydroxychloroquine for it to work is very, very close to the lethal dosage. So it's not a case of... <laughs> That yes, that's just the case. I know you can laugh, but that's the by point. You have to take that, three times the amount to okay, go for it. Yeah, Keep so going. it's not like you'd have to take three liters of this stuff. Okay, so like th three times, three times of like the lethal dosage of water might be lethal, you know, because like if I drink uh, sixteen liters versus like I don't know, say four liters, right? That's going to kill me. That's four times. But what happens if the amount I need to take for something to work is say for example two milliliters, but the lethal dosage is four milliliters? Okay, the difference there is that it's very difficult to measure the difference between two and four milliliters versus four liters and 16 liters. That's the point, which is why that with hydroxychloroquine, when you use it, you have to have doctor supervision because the average person isn't going to be able to measure that much out accurately without accidentally killing themselves. That's what yeah. they do with, like, with various drugs because like, they're extremely potent, and that's what potency means. Is yes, that you, you, you have to have a very, very like, accurate amount of it to avoid killing someone. Which is why we have pharmacies, and which is oh why I've never God, said that you don't have a doctor. Oh, I don't understand what why you're making do. this argument. Bro. No, the ph pharmacy. It. Hold on. Can somebody pharmacy. explain why he's saying, why he's making this argument? Yeah, I don't yeah. Hold, hold on. Can I, can I just look? Ph pharmacies aren't going to measure out your medication for you. They're going to give you medication. What you need to do is go into a doctor's office and have yeah. like a doctor That's give you the medication. See, have pharmacies I said there's are, a doctor? Ph pharmacies will give you pills, yeah. but they don't so put the pills down your throat. Give me full circle. Why is he making this argument when I've never said take it without a doctor? And I never said get it without because a Because you just said to take it with a pharmacy. You just said that that's why pharmacies are. I've always there. said you're going to obviously. And that I, pregnant how do you women can just use it willy nilly. You get a doctor note, bro. I mean, I don't. You know, I mean, like, no, no, no. But, is well, well, yeah. so I think. Please, well, why are y'all making I these think, arguments? I think the distinction is taking it with a doctor's supervision as opposed to uh, taking it off of a doctor's prescription. That what it was, Sergey. Basically, with, with the amount you need to, when you're talking about things like treatments for malaria and whatnot, I don't think it's to do with malaria. I think it's specifically to do with COVID, it is, but it could be. It is well. a malaria drug, and um, yeah. and it's like an arthritis drug and a couple other things. Yeah, that, that it's like saying that it's like you can take a you can take a small amount of like ibuprofen for like like muscular pain, but if there's like a, if there's a treatment where you have to quite require a large amount of ibuprofen for it to work, you're running the risk of actually like poisoning the person in that in that case because of the fact that you have to give them so much of it. So just saying that, oh, yeah, it's safe to take quote-unquote hydroxychloroquine. <laughs> this guy hasn't measured, talked about anything about the dosages. It could be like oh for pregnant God. women with like some sort of Are rheumatoid issue, it, it's like two milliliters. But for things so, for treatment for like malaria, it might be 200 you know, like, milliliters you need to take, right, which might be really close to the lethal dosage. So my point is not just it's the same dosage across the board for every single treatment. I'm saying in specific, <laughs> specifically this case – where we're talking about this treatment, well, if I say take it's an extremely high, it's high amount. Safe. You're gonna, you're he, gonna give me the same argument. I'm if finished. I say take ibuprofen, is safe. Finish. I, I thought it was same argument. What demonstrates you why you're not listening or you don't going. understand what the problem keep is. Going. Yeah. Keep going. I thought you were done because your point was made. I, I've was never it? argued that. So that was a. He was in the middle I, of I talking. Stop speaking. I thought okay, he was what? done talking. What else do you want to say? I mean, it wasn't addressing your point. I'm literally pointing out facts. Yeah, finish. It's either true or false. Right, it's either true or false, this fact, right? Okay, and it's either you don't understand it or you do understand it. Now, you just saying that's not your point is, is irrelevant because I'm making my point about a given fact. Either you agree with the fact or you don't, or you think it's wrong. If you think it's wrong, I'd like to know why it's wrong. Okay, thank you. So, I've never made that point, so obviously I agree with you, right? I, I've literally never, I never said take three times the approved amount. There, it's called an approved amount for a reason. If I say ibuprofen is safe, you would literally have to make that exact same argument. Um, if you could, here's what would make your point for me. If you can tell me how many people have died due to overdoses of this malaria drug since we've been using it for decades now, right? So we've been using it for like, I think uh, 40 years or something I, like that. What, if you can tell me how many people have died, then you would make your case on it being dangerous. If what not, the fuck then- What are you talking about? 
what if, it's does that not dangerous, if it's so dangerous, people would have died from it. So obviously, you'd be able to make this case from people just taking the approved amount. So, over the last 40 years. if for example, if for example, when they release a drug and they figure out very early on in the case that because of one person dying from it, and they think, oh shit, this is actually quite dangerous if you're giving this amount. I tell, I tell you, I tell you what we're going to do from now on. We're going to make sure that everyone takes the correct dosage by being just, very, very careful. I'm not finished by being very, very careful with it. Right? I already let you talk now. I, you were supposed I, to let me talk. It's not a straw man because I'm actually responding to your point, right? This isn't this isn't repeating your argument. It's you're, literally you're making a non argument. You're not listening you're not to what I'm saying. What Either I'm listen saying. to what I'm saying or just like stop well, interrupting let me. me. Talking. How about that? Look, let me I listen literally to what, let what I'm saying. When, when I accidentally Look, you just, interrupt just, you, so this is dumb I, because you've just decided that I've not like Right, I'm just going to keep making my point because you're not you listening. You literally right. said that you so, were finished talking. I literally No, I, I have not said that, that and now you're just lying. You so I'm just going to carry on talking about my point until you just listen right, to me. Hey, hey, I have a good day, so, man. I'm going to go drink. This is fine. You're going to just run away like a coward because you're just I'm too running away to because you're point. trying to tell me that ibuprofen is fucking dangerous if you take too much of it. I, I never said anything about ibuprofen. I gave you a hypothetical and you don't even understand it's a hypothetical. I think it's hilarious. And I just love That army boy, I don't think you understand the argument that's being given. He's not making I, an argument. You, you're not listening well, to me. You're you're listening to me? It, it, you, well, you can other, say you he's die. not making an argument. That's fine. It's your understanding. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that you're not like really letting him speak. And granted, other people have been over talking you, including me. Mm -hmm. But he said, like, okay. it's not helping the conversation. Okay. Let me let me convey just, what I what I've heard from him. He told me that if you take three times the approved amount, it can be legal. If you take three times the approved amount of a lot of things, including, like you said, ibuprofen or whatever else, right? There's a bunch of medicines that if you take three times the approved amount, you can die. So that this is like no, that's not the point I was making. Can I can I correct you because you've obviously you, misunderstood me? You. This is what I've been waiting for. Right. So I didn't say that all drugs are three times the amount. I said there are given drugs that any sorry any drug has some sort of lethal dosage of it, pretty much. Okay. What my point was is that essentially, if you have a hypothetical drug X. OK, and, and in order for a treatment Y to work, you need to give very, very close to the lethal dosage. And it's very it's a very bad idea to just give it to just like a general public usage and say, here's the drugs. Be responsible with it because they obviously not they're not trained enough to do that, which is why you need doctor supervision. And then you responded to me with something really weird by saying if it was the case that this was dangerous, then we'd have lots of people who were dead. And I was trying to give you an example as why that doesn't follow. Because if you have a very dangerous drug that in testing, like, for example, a hypothetically imaginary, it killed the first person they used on. And then they very quickly realized that the reason was because it was very, very dangerous to use in the dosage they gave it. They would immediately make sure that it was only used with by trained doctors, which means you would not see a large amount of people dying from it, even though they knew it was very dangerous to use. So it doesn't follow that proving that me having to show you lots of people dying from this treatment is somehow like the only way that it would be true. Do which you understand said, that? Which is why yes I or no, so first of all. Do you understand the point yeah. I've made? Yeah, and yeah, I said it's a waste of time to bring it up. Say, say, it's a waste of time to bring it up. Thank you. Can you, so I said I've can you understand, that. can you, well, actually, just, like, can you answer yes or no that whether or not you understood I what I just said? said I yes. Yeah, he understands, I, he agrees. Uh, he said that right, yeah. that's why yeah. he thinks only doctors, uh, that on, it, it should only be given with, with doctor consent or approval or permission, yeah. collaboration, whatever. Oversight, it should be. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. So all this was just like for nothing because I, I said yeah, this originally and you instantly jumped down my throat that I was wrong about it. I don't I get said, his point. I don't know what his up. point is. He just seems to be about... generally talking okay. about things he dislikes about. Let him go back to what like I said. The you know what my, COVID. Point, let me make my, point. my point was what I said specifically was when politics got involved in, in science, right? This was my this was my problem, right? So and we've had people admit, admit that they let politics get involved in the actual science. So this is my problem. So from the Fauci emails to the to the bad, uh, 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 what was it? It wasn't the JAMA study. It was the, uh, uh, I forgot the name of the freaking journal it got posted in. But the um, there was a couple bad studies that came out and they were intentionally bad just to try and make Trump look bad. I think the VA study, which is where they intentionally gave people three times the approved amount, I think that's murder. Maybe you don't, that's okay, but that's my opinion. What I'm saying is that's bad science. It's bad science when you let politics get involved with yeah, science no and you automatic and you do something to have a negative outcome on the study 
intentionally just to try and hurt Trump. And so whenever they did, uh, they admitted just no shit. recently. That doesn't that, argue for anything. I know. Like that's this, just, this, that's I mean, the same politics bad. This is why we started talking about ACQ and then you started going on a ramp. So just let me finish. So what I was saying also was that whenever they came out and they admitted that they didn't want to uh, confirm the uh, the lab leak theory because they were like, oh, you know, but this right Look. here is something that just came out last week, right? So when they admit that they did, they knew that they had more evidence, whatever, blah, 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 and they didn't want to uh, to confirm the lab leak theory because of, they didn't want to hurt, they didn't want to help Trump. That this was their word. This doesn't confirm that it's actually hold, 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 true. Or, this, this is, this is really me. off All topic. All is politics. Like, this is this we, is hilarious that you're no, saying no. that, that you, politics shouldn't be involved in science, but then you're arguing politics to argue your science. It's just the whole point that you're making here is just that it's political. You, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying. So let me confirm. I am not understanding. I just don't there think you're understanding. There are people who admitted, there are people that admitted, scientists that admitted that politics got involved with their science. I'm saying. No shit. I'm saying, because this was part of my treatment, right? So you, I was talking about what would I have done in my perfect fairy tale land. I would have kept elderly people home. I would have given them what we know now works, right? So I would have said, hey, no, whatever no, follows. you have done. Please let None me of finish. that follows from what you said. You're saying that there's I'll politics in science and there should oh, no, be politics. It doesn't mean that you're right. Wait till you see how this comes full circle. It's really good. Okay. So, as I was saying, that we knew that you could take something and that it was working, right? So, I'm saying if we kept all the people who were vulnerable, people who had cancer, people who were overweight, people who were elderly, et cetera, et cetera, if you kept all those people home, then you let everyone else go out that we know have a 0 0.003, whatever it is, chance of dying, right? It almost is so, and that, and that right there, keep in mind, uh, that 0 0.03 is part of the people with comorbidity. So it's actually closer to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So what I'm saying is people that virtually will not die, cannot <laughs> die, impenetrable, motherfucker, you know what I mean? So I'm making big claims so that way you can respond. People that will not die from the virus, if you let them go out and reach herd immunity, Right? I'm saying that that would have kept deaths low and people that are vulnerable, we would have kept them inside until we reached herd immunity. We would have been treating everybody in the population through a doctor and then a pharmacy, not giving them three times as much. So if we would have used all of that information that we had at the time, that that would have kept deaths minimal. So that's my full circle. So whoever wants to respond. Is that it? Yep. Yeah, so your point agree. is you would have done it differently? Uh, that's been the point the entire time. So now that so, so, so we, can, we can all we can give we can we can give fantasy world scenarios about how we would like to do stuff, right? And I can come up with a scenario that's better than yours, right? I could be stricter. I could I could have other things that we implemented that's better than yours, right? But unfortunately, that isn't the case. So what's going to happen now? What do you want? What do you want to happen about it now? What I've said, as I've said this whole entire time, is that we should have used science to actually form our response to this. We've had science to agree to everything that I just said right there. That was available pr at pretty much the very beginning no. of the outbreak. Can from I, the no, that's not true. Can I, that's can just, I respond that's to what just, he said? Let me actually. finish real quick. Yeah, if you want. Let me finish, and I would like him to, to, to give me the summary. Uh, so what I'm saying is that science has been available since the very beginning, and so I'm saying that my goal was to minimize deaths, not minimize cases, right. because if you focus on cases, cases are just going to come yeah, back. Yeah, we get it. Hold so on. Next. Okay. So, so what I, my problem with your general idea of what should have happened is that when you let these people that aren't going to die out to like reach herd immunity, what that does, see those people can still spread it and there's still going to be lots of people with disabilities or people who are just old, you know, and even now some strains target young people. So, I mean, it seems like there's going to be a lot of people that are more at risk, depending on the strain, and you're going to end up with all of the, like, a lot of those people in the hospitals and dying very quickly, like, almost all at once. And if you do that, the hospital won't be able to manage the amount of people pouring into them. Can I pause you? Because we agreed on that. As, as hospitals in a certain region get to the point where they're at max, then you shut it down. That's I've always you agreed with you. That. So you shut down all the people that are out there getting to hurt. It's too late by then. No, no right. he's saying wait till it's embedded in the population, then you shut it down. No, oh, I see. Wait until the very last. That's a good idea. That's oh, yeah. y'all are, are misrepresenting what I'm saying. So just let me let me say it from. Well, my that's mouth. what exactly what you said. Let me say it from my mouth. Okay. Right. So just, what I'm saying. How do you shut it down? Right. Your mouth so, isn't working very well. Like, we every time you say something, everyone understands it. 
we understand how uh, hospitals can be overrun, right? Like, it's not like they're like, oh my God, it happened today and we didn't see this coming. Like, they uh, literally actually, kind of track does. trajectories. They track trajectories. This is something that we've been doing for a long time. So what I'm saying is, when you know that you're getting to the point where you need to shut it down, you shut it down. I'm not saying wait until you're already overrun. That's you kind of need idea. data to do that, though. You have to understand how quickly this virus spreads to do it. And and you saying that we knew all this before the virus came out is that, is, is objectively false. That, we already have data. You're, you're on that. saying that we knew all this at the beginning when we didn't. That's yes, the whole that, point. You're just so you're just saying it's some sort of political cover up. It's some sort of conspiracy to no. pr promote the vaccine no. over like this your model because like we secretly knew we didn't know. How the fuck are you? Where are you getting that You're from? You're saying that. You literally you said that we knew all this we, at the beginning. Right, this so, uh, can we not go into the political bullshit here? Can That's we what just, he's arguing, though. That's his I, I, I know that, and I'm talking to Army Boy, too. Like, Can we just not do the whole, oh, Fauci is evil? And no, you that's not what I'm doing. That is literally like, not what I'm doing. You, you, used, well, you, you said that and you used it as part of your argument and it's, it's contributing yeah, to this back and forth that's political when really we should just be talking about what's better for the health of the country. Okay, when I talk about when I talk about Fauci, I talk specifically about his emails. I talked about what he was saying in Look, private. Nobody's interested in oh, you please, emoting please into the mic. Stop talking right now. I'm, like, I'm responding to him quit because quit he, he made a quit, very valid quit, point. Quit, I would like to respond quit, to him. Quit fucking so emoting. What, what I'm saying to the person that was just so polite is that I was not being political. I was literally using a very uh, specific anecdote where he was lying in public and then he was telling the truth. Right. Behind the but things. that, that so is political. Saying, that that is saying, political. But that's a lie. What I'm talking about is misrepresentation of information. I'm t when I'm when I'm talking about making a holistic, fact-based uh, approach to the outbreak and somebody's lying to people. That's important. It doesn't I matter. Mean, right. You I could say that Trump's not. lying, but that's still a but political show statement. Show me the data. Show me the actual facts where he lied. That's what well, I'm that, talking about. That, that would be arguing for a okay, political Okay, show me his stance. emails like I'm telling you that, about. That, that would be. A, hold on. Stop. Listen. Oh that God. would be arguing for a political stance. No, and I wouldn't. don't want That would be somebody talk. lying about data. I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to talk lie. about. I don't want to talk about what figureheads lied about what. I want to talk about oh, what course of action is the most healthy thing yeah. for our Scarlet, country. That's the only avenue he has. He just wants to tries to convince you that something is that bad, right? Right? Okay. Oh he yeah. So I've been uh, oh, not helping. Oh my god. So I, whenever I say somebody so lied about serious. something and they made public policy around lies. And then you're saying, well, you're just talking about political. Well, no, I'm we're talking, talking about, about what should have happened. Look, you're sitting here I've saying address the science, happened. quote, unquote, unquote, unquote address happened. the science, quote, unquote, but you're just bitching and emoting. You're like a okay, fucking bro. bitch. All right. Is that right? Like, well, Is that they, right? Oh, well, did, did that make you feel better? Did that make you feel big? I bet you won't Look, say that. Can we not get lost on this? Look. So don't, yeah. So what I'm saying is, is that it doesn't matter the politics drove what we act, how we responded to the virus. So if you're saying that we can't address that, that's that's unfair. So what I'm saying look, is I wanted to use no, science to I'm minimize saying. when people died. But look, because what we're talking about is what should have happened. We're talking about how populations react to, like we can talk about the policies themselves, but we don't have to talk about like who, like what, like politicians or whatever were lying and shit. Like we, the we don't need to make policy and it was based on a lie. That is important. Right. But that's all so political. That. I want to avoid that topic. I, I just, because but it, that would it, be history at this point. That, that's not a, that wouldn't be a, anything more than just fucking history. You can, can, history. can you really not get like just the very simple point that I want to talk about like health and populations yeah. and what should have been done yeah. by any hypothetical leader in america mm -hmm. at the time and like, you can't get past the, so we talked about earlier about masks, no right? you can't get past we fauci. all talked about mask earlier right and dr fauci just he he literally cited basically what i've already been talking about all the science says that the stud like all the science right says that the mask you've already walked that, back your claims on the masks You've no, been fucking said, shut down already like an hour ago. What did Dr. Fauci say about masks in his emails then? How about that? I don't give a fuck what Fauci exactly. said. Exactly. So right. fucking fuck fuck shut up. Down shut cares? up, little boy. Shut Who up, little cares? boy. Little boy trying to talk fucking big. Shut up. Shut up. Weak ass pussy.
Yo, this sucks. Oh, fuck your bitch. Don't come on here trying to talk tough. That's all I'm saying. You got you, fucking you ass. Talk, bro, 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 yeah, I probably will. I'm going to fuck your so, bitch. So, you're yeah. not, so you just want to spread as much COVID as possible by coming on people and fucking well, and sucking and slurping. Yeah. So anyways, so as I was doing saying, it? right? I, I, whenever somebody gets on here and tries to talk tough, I, I will do that to you because y- y'all are weak, right? Well, you know what I mean? You're, so you're the one time. talking tough, Bubba. Well, because I am tough, right? So um, I'm using facts and science. Yeah, you're, you're, you're very tough. Trying to, we get it. Trying to respond. Are you kidding? We went from talking about something actually yeah, good, good medical point. to talking about Listen, politics, you, and then we couldn't agree about what politics what was. Well, hold now on, we're talking on. about whose dick is We were not talking about politics. And we're and talking about somebody lied about a mask. Oh, oh. Whenever that's convenient we can we can can you just spell science for me, please? Come on, Devo. Come on. Yeah, could you, you sp- could you spell science for me? Oh, you're so cute. I guarantee I have a higher IQ. Than right, I, I, I give up. up. This is, this is gonna, and this I guarantee I'm smarter than you. Your girlfriend's hotter. Your mistress is hotter. You have a better car. And your rollers can hear you. I can hear how fucking ugly you are in your voice, man. So that doesn't make any sense. No, it really does. But it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I'm an audio engineer, and I can tell you that doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does, bro. If you're telling me that you can't tell, like, let's say I, when you have a I fat person, you can't voice, tell right? a fat person's voice. You can't tell when a weak person. You said ugly, not fat. You're an audio you engineer. Not fat. You don't fucking. Well, if you're an audio you're engineer, pretty you should know person. that there are actual categories of voices, right? So you should understand. I don't that. think like, you, know, you can hear a voice and you can kind of tell. No, that's not true. I, I, I guarantee I'm not ugly. No, it's what are they called? Are those categories? I have seen you. You're I'm okay not with it. This can you say that I sound like I'm fat? Right. Look, that's everybody in here. Oh, see that's 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 yeah, yeah like, I do okay. Aside from the muscles, you don't really got anything to be honest. Yeah, okay, we'll see. Okay. She, she's saying you're a Bob Fuck. Body off Baywatch that's face off. Boy. I don't know. I don't know who that person she's is. Saying, she's saying oh, you got a face care. for radio, okay? I don't care. Okay, okay. All like right. that one well, guy that was doing Baywatch. He did what Sugar okay. does and uses right, fucking 10 year old photos. Well, anyways, anyways, anyways. As I was saying, What's right that now, got to do with right you now, being upset about we've got, we've got, we've got people who have not used any science or any data. They're, they've only talked about their opinion. They tried saying, oh, hydroxychloroquine can kill you if you take three times the approved amount. And it's so hard to fucking measure it. It's so hard to measure it. It's so hard to measure it. Oh, fuck, I can't measure it. Think about how stupid yeah, 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 that is. I get what Y'all you're doing. It's really cool. But... Y'all are stupid. No, no, this no I, I understand all that. Yeah, yeah, we get that. We get that. But the problem is, is we're kind of past the point. Oh, it'll kill you. Y'all are fucking stupid. Y'all are yeah, stupid. But, okay, so, so far, we've so had people let's that talk didn't know the, the fucking. Right. <laughs> now, don't worry about. Don't worry about what's Anyways, happened in the past. Right. Don't worry about. Don't worry about the past. How? How? Moving forward, how are we going to make this better for the next pandemic? You just follow the science. It's pretty simple, right? You know, like we mm-hmm. had science on who's who's vulnerable. Mm-hmm. No, we didn't. No, listen, this is good. He's smart. Go on. So we did not. I'm writing this down. Hold on, I'm writing this down. How is it that how is it that you guys are missing that we literally have people that admitted that how they, is it they that lied. you guys are missing right yeah sorry can you that people <laughs> lied and our policies were based around oh I agree with all that there's definitely okay. missteps so why in is every it that why is that when I why is it that huh? when I said if we want to do this right the next time we should follow what where the science led us mm-hmm. somebody's like we already did mm-hmm. that we you just told me that you agree that we didn't because well we agree I agree on some of the points you made. made hey, so so it's, lies. Huh? well so it's possible for me to agree with some of what you said I think there was massive mishandling did we make in a lot based of places. Around people huh? that lied. What's up? Did we make policy around people that lied? Yes or no? I don't. I'm I, I'm not in your country, so I I'm not okay. familiar with what happened there. Um, but there are certainly things that happened here that we had problems with, but that doesn't mean we have to throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? I'm not really interested in the political stuff. Your claims about the masks and the social distancing, that was every, every point you made, all horse shit, right? So that's the only thing I'm, I'm really interested in. Show me so that's show why me I, I kind of just, huh? show me a study that's that just why wrong. I just discount exactly. what you say. Show me a study so, that says I was wrong. If you're you not doing that, one, you're you're just, hold on, wait a minute. You're just making, you you're just, you're just making, huh? What's happening? Show me a study that so you should, think that that there's. That. You think there's one study that would prove like um, all of your points wrong? 
You think that would be one study? There isn't. There isn't. So show me a study. Right, find it. Hold on, how about this no one, no one's do doing studies point point. Point. Show me a study that says right? mask work. Show me a study. Show me the studies well, that you yeah, think a mask work. He hasn't posted a single fucking study. I've yet. already posted studies. Study 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 You've posted yeah, fucking conservative work. opinion pieces, you idiot. No, I literally you, posted you, a bunch you, of studies. You admitted, studies admitted masks work earlier, like exactly you admitted condoms work earlier. But we said they were a flawed system, which I agree. They can be flawed. All PP is is flawed. Gloves are flawed. Masks, shields. You know what I mean? Doctors here's washing the problem. their hands. Here's the problem. There's all, there's, there's we're agreeing right now what you're saying. We agree, but here's huh? the problem. Here's the problem. Here's mm -hmm. the problem. Well, yeah. we don't agree. I don't agree with you. You're okay. wrong. No, 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 no. You're saying that they can be flawed, that they don't uh, do 100%. But here's the problem. If more people contract the virus because they're using flawed it, versus using an intelligent fucking way of, of keeping infected people home and keeping people that are uh, vulnerable. Yeah, your idea is retarded. No, 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 no. You're, you're, I'm, you're, I'm literally you're excited. Your idea is retarded. I've already talked about this. Where, where you have no, doctors, makes you, had nurses with, you had nurses with masks and nurses without masks. And then the nurses without the mask are the ones that end up catching it more, right? Oh, uh, correction. The nurses with the mask end up catching it more because it gives you a false sense of security. So what I'm saying is if you send people out into the world with, with flawed PPE, as you just agreed, and that flawed PPE leads to more people dying, that would be bad policy. And that's what I'm saying. That right there, I would not agree with. If you made a mask mandate that says only use N95 masks, only the effective mask, right? then that would be a good policy then maybe, you know what I mean? Like, hey, let's go for that. And only the people that are capable of spreading uh, the virus or whatever, because otherwise, it, you know what I mean? Like Dr. Fauci and everybody else agrees that, you know, it, it, the, the mask for I all- I don't know who he is, I don't live in America. Okay, it's okay. Well, the mask for all study, everybody wearing a mask, especially when we know that asymptomatic study uh, spread wasn't a thing, whatever, that is just stupid, right? So only people mm -hmm. that- need Oh, you know, you've been disproven on that though. Please, no, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, people, there's, there's multiple studies that disagree was, with the I know, and study, I, yeah. as I said, there's multiple yeah, studies, studies but it. when there's multiple studies, you've got to look at the quality of a study. So have you, uh, do you and have- What type a, of study uh, was it that proved that the asymptomatic, what type of study was it that was conducted? Okay. Well, anyway, as I was saying, right? Well, no, sorry. What type of study was it conducted that proved that asymptomatic infection was not a thing? What type? Tell me the type sure. of study. So you're trying to go off of a was it? Tell a me the type of study that was conducted to prove the asymptomatic infection the oh, was not I've possible. I've explained the study. I've explained the study. No, you're trying to talk type. about randomized control tell me problem. The type. I know tell what me the you're type. looking for. I know what you're looking for. I think it's stupid. So I'm moving on. So no, just tell me. If it's stupid, so, just tell me. It's okay. It's okay. So as just I was tell saying, me what type. I'm so not you Here's the thing, right? You think you're bolstering your opinion with these studies and over talking, but it's not. Huh? Okay. Sorry, what's happening? You haven't posted anything, so okay. Huh? No, I'm yeah. asking you to tell me what type yeah, of study yeah. it is. Okay, because you're making, you're trying to look for stupid points, like you know, huh? it's not a randomized controlled trial. It's fucking Sorry. Sorry. It's fucking no. stupid, man. It's stupid. I'm okay. not okay. hearing you mention what type of study it was. I think, I think y'all was dumb, and I think it's yeah, you're stupid dumb, you're stupid. You got a big talk. We get it. Unfortunately, you're completely ineffective in arguing any of your points, right? Okay. So what you're doing right. is you're using okay. a lot of hot air, right? You're getting very I think excited. It's right? when I let people like this you're talk. Not changing. It makes you all look huh? bad. It makes you all look stupid. What? Look, look stupid. Looks dumb. Yeah, we get it. You repeated yourself. Hey. You said that one already. But hey, hey, the hey. problem is, is you're not backing up a lot of what you're saying, right? So just if you've moment, done some Ray, research moment, into these Ray, studies, just, huh? just a moment, Ray, man, just let me do the mod stuff. Hey, one at a time. All right. He's no, I have no stop what I'm doing to come mod people. He's I'm just leave the server muted. No, right. they've let him. They, they've let him run his mouth for an hour or two now with no mod intervention. So it's absolutely fine to carry on the way it is. He's yeah, it's fine, Ninja. He's rage quit. Oh, is that oh, I tried to left? moderate, and left. Left. when I was did trying to moderate, somebody unmuted. Uh, the person I was trying to moderate, so then I just gave up. So, like, when yeah, he was, he was wasn't listening, he wasn't there was no point. Please don't do that. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't worry about him. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't worry about offending him. It was more, I was worried that other people in the room were actually taking him seriously. It's just a shame. Um, there's no point. He's just, he's just calling people stupid repeatedly, and he said he was going to suck Pete's dick or something and slurp, come off his wife's pussy. It made, I don't understand.